darkness, confusion, uncertainty. The last clear image in your minds are of two strangely robed ogres confronting you and your companion Daisy while you were enjoying the comforts of a hot spring in the forested mountains of northwestern Drakkar. And beyond that point, only the muddled thoughts and visions flow through you like creeping fog. You feel somehow weightless and heavy, both absent and present, awake and asleep. With these contrasting feelings comes neither panic nor calmness, but instead simple numb attentiveness as you watch the land move beneath you and the sky turn colors from brilliant blue to the dark blue-gray of night and back again. A handful of days seemingly pass, and your weird voyage comes to an end. Awareness within you begins, slowly, to stir and re-emerge, and your dulled senses start to come back to you. You feel... warmth. Fresh, pleasant, sweet air fills your lungs. The sensation of soft cushioning comes to you next beneath your hands, face, and body, and your bleary eyes open. Bright sunlight shines into the room you now find yourselves in, a blinding ray that pours into the space through a wide, arched open window, and, looking up, a skylight in the high ceiling. Thin purple linen drapes billow softly in the breeze. It's quiet, save for the subtle stirring of your allies and except for the bird song that can be heard from outside. The floor is a splendid pattern of colored ceramic tiles. Sitting up, you discover the furnishings that support you. Four finely crafted chaise lounge sofas, mm -hmm. each big enough to be a king's bed. Indeed, the space you now occupy is opulent, lavish, posh. Confusion still slowly fading from you, you realize by looking at each other that your adventuring gear seems to be missing, <laughs> replaced by simple linen robes. Curiously, you also each notice an odd bangle or pendant has been fitted around each of your necks. Reaching up, you can feel the band clutching tightly to your own. <clears throat> There's no time to put these puzzle pieces together. It's in this moment before a word can be spoken. The wide door opposite the window swings open with a crash and in steps an 800-pound, 10-foot-tall, pink-robed, bald ogre that you recognize as the one who somehow has brought you all here. The wand-wielding creature whose magics affected you so strongly at the hot springs. He comes in with a broad platter bearing steaming towels which he nearly oh. drops when he sees that everyone is now just sitting up. Loudly, he bellows, Oh, they're finally awake! What happens next is up to you. What have you done with us? Uh, done Hi. with you? My name's Queenie March. All my stuff is gone. <clears throat> I'm gonna think the best, because I do like your robe. Why are we here and why'd you take our stuff? Stealing ain't nice. Uh, we, 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 we saved you. Of course, we, of course, of course. We, we, uh, uh, uh just, just, just one moment. He goes and he sets the platform down and, uh, uh, pulls one of the, uh, rags off of it. Ugh. Uh, we, we, we saved you. Yes, 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 yes. We, 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 we found you out in the madness, of course. We were... Fine on our own. There was nothing bad about where we were or what we were doing. I know you may feel that way. I know that that's what you think is really happening, but that is the nature of madness. All the things you think you've experienced out there, none of that ever happened. Are you trying to tell me I never saw a ghost? He reaches over and he pulls out a piece of uh, parchment, uh, quite, quite literally a, a, a set of scrolls, and... Let me just make sure that this is playing. Song, bird song. Uh, he starts to write down a ghost. Very interesting. Yes, a ghost. They have had it bad out there. Mm. Look, I'm sure I saw a ghost. I talked to it. 
I chased a little cheese. A ghost cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm not making it up. Ghost cheese, even. I know it sounds ridiculous when I say it out loud, but it did happen. It's true. Yes. Uh, you had a shared experience then, all out there in the terrible madness? Well, we were all together for the entirety of it, so I think all of our experiences were shared for the most part. And you say you're, you believe your name to be Queenie. Oh, I don't believe it to be Queenie. I know it to be Queenie. Well, we'll, we'll see. Uh, uh, it, it, it'll, it's only a matter of time. Perhaps the, the madness will fade from you soon. I'm not... What? Where is our feast? Oh! Feast? Of course you must be starving! Bacon! Bacon! No, the feast that I prepared, not... Strange pink man. It was, of course, corrupted. Corrupted terribly by the madness. We couldn't touch that meat. We had to leave it all there. I spent four hours cleaning that thing. It may have felt like four hours, but it could have I been I did a, a full ancient estuary dry rub. You were just... On every inch of that beastie. Oh. You were just born. You, you could... Did you just leave it? What? No, hold on. What do you mean I was just born? You were just uh, popped into existence just before my son found you. That is 100% not what happened. Is this what your son told you? No, 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 no. It is, uh, it is, it is a tale as old as time. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, people spring out into the madness, and uh, very frequently ogres like myself will, will find them and then save them and restore them to their back, to their, their natural life, their, 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 their place. Have you ever thought that maybe you're just finding people that existed prior to you finding them? Believes ogres found real people. <laughs> They're lucky to be saved. <laughs> is uh, I may have missed it. Is uh, is Daisy here? You do not see Daisy, nor do you see your companion Scrim. Where are our other two companions? Oh, yes, of course, of course, of course. Uh, well, Daisy, uh, Daisy? Yes, Daisy. Oh, uh, she, uh, we, we, she, her name is Alcatra, of course. Uh, Alcatra, she is, uh, with Wait, her. how did you know what her name is? Uh, uh, well, we've seen her before. She's been with the House of Commons for, for, uh, forever. This is what she escaped from. Mm -hmm. Oh, you the little green fella. You didn't turn him into ogre stew, did you? No, of course not. Of course not. They're unharmed. They're just with, uh... Uh, let me just make sure I can remember the name of the person who I've known my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Steve. <laughs> oh, yes. Was there something bad in that serpent, mate? Am I going mad, Mr. Yornir? There's not... Appear to be true. The Honorable Governor Gork Gustus has uh, whoever you call this scrim to be, of course. All right. Well, I'm not going to lie. I really like that name, Gork Gustus. <laughs> You're the Honorable uh, as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There is something about that name I find incredibly amusing. <laughs> However, I don't find any of what you're doing to us incredibly amusing. I don't like being gaslit. I know I ain't stupid. Gaslit. Yes, and did you... You're not, you're not stupid. You don't have the, the phenomenal intellect of an ogre, of course, but you're not stupid. You should never feel that way. You have powers of speech. We've never seen the madness turn a, a, a vassal like this before. It's fascinating. It's, you, you, you are discovery uh, beyond anything we've ever seen. Yeah, ha, ha, what's your IQ? How smart do you think you are? I'm not sure what an IQ is, but whatever the top is, I'm probably the smartest one in Ogerton. That does not bode well for the rest of your people. Is that where we are? Are we in Ogerton? Who yeah. came up with that name? Our ancestors, the, the, the founders, of course, of course, just were, after were they, they traveled from Ogre Heaven. Were they as smart as you are? Uh, smarter. They oh. designed all of this. Uh, they, they came here to pursue knowledge, to find and discover all things. And they named this place Ogerton? It's the town of ogres. It only... You think you're smart. Did you say that your ancestors came from Ogre Heaven? 
Yes, 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 yes. Uh, they were with our God for uh, an eternity, but they knew that they there was still knowledge. They could not have been with your God for an eternity, and eternity is forever. And if they are here now, they currently, or if they're gone now, they could not have stayed there for an eternity if they then left. That's a question that for the really House stupid. of Religion, really, but uh, I, I am... That's really uh, stupid, all right. I'm starting to get frustrated. <laughs> my name is Manius Ogris Bloginius. So wait, you're trying to... Can you tell me what... Can Can you tell me what that other ogre's name is? Uh, 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 Gork Gustus? So you're telling me there's an ogre named Gork Gustus and your name is Manius Ogrius <laughs> McGillicuddy McFarlane oh, or something? Oh, so think his there's name no, is... There's no McGillicuddy. This is outrageous. <laughs> I, I think Gorgustus is the full is the single word. A lot more a lot more syllables than most of the ogre brigands I've run into. Can, can you answer that question truthfully? Is it Gork Gustus or is it Gorgustus? It's Gork Gustus. <laughs> uh, and you say you're intelligent. What are the five noble endeavors, really? For one, I said you're trying to make me feel stupid. I not once said, excuse me, ogre, I am intelligent. I am not. I come from the country, all right? I know my place. Two, is there a pause between the Gork and the Gustus? It's a simple question. There's a little bit of a pause, yes. Well, thank you, so it's not Gorgustus. No, it's, it's Gork Gustus. Thank you. Commodus you is listening? a very good friend of mine. Well, and, and, he, and he's the governor of <laughs> Ogerton. No, he's the governor of the House of Commerce. I'm the governor of the House of Education. Are all of, of you knowledge. governors? Did all of you decide collectively that we're all going to be governors? No, these are the five great endeavors I just mentioned. We all have this station so through wait, merit and through our, our family someone, lineage. You were asking, I'm Where is that bacon? I am going to argue with this guy for like four hours. If you what don't exactly stop is the tax I need to ask you one Ogerton. more question. Yeah, hungry for knowledge. I love it. I'm hungry for something. Now, you think we were just born and that you discovered us just born out in your wild. You're crazy. I know that. And you expect me to understand your five pillars of communism or whatever? I, uh, some some do, yes, absolutely. We, we, we've discovered those who are out there who have had these kinds of knowledge pieces before. You're the, you're the first four we've ever met who, who don't, who A, have the talent for speech, which is remarkable. And also that you uh, have seemingly no understanding of where you are, who you are, what you are. I just told you who I was. My name's Queenie March. Yes, Queenie March. Yes, I have it written down Miss here. Miss March if you're nasty. <laughs> Is that your last name, if you're nasty? I mean, it should be. All one word. <laughs> Miss March if you're nasty. <laughs> I mean, look, I may be a little irritated, but that is a phenomenal name. That is nah, a good name. So, <laughs> that is a good name. <laughs> that is a good name. Ah, of course. And, uh, and, and in this moment, um, uh, you see a human walk in. Uh, wearing very similar robes to what you're wearing, and he carries a tray, and on the tray are five bowls of what are, look up, appears to be steaming stew. That and does not look like bacon. There's a uh, 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 bread stuck in each one, and there's a larger bowl that's very clearly for Manius. And uh, Bacon uh, walks forward and hands, oh. uh, <laughs> the grabs the. Oh, thank you, bacon. bacon. Yes, of course. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, serve, serve the rest of them, uh, and 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 we'll continue our discourse. You have no idea what I'm learning. And uh, sure enough, the uh, silent vassal walks up and starts to uh, hold out. These bowls of what appears to be very delicious uh, uh, stews. I'm sorry, he named you Bacon. Thank you, Bacon. Oh, what, what what's in this stew? Ma- what was your name again? Manius. Mr. Manius. Bluginius. Bluginius. You can call me Manius, though. That's fine. That's fine. Mr. Bluginius. What's in this stew? Can if I, call I might you ask. Manny? Uh, Manius is my preferred name, and yeah, I know, but I asked if I could call you Manny. Uh, we haven't gotten to know each other. Well, we'll see if you keep your your speech in uh, in in due time. I'm, I'm okay. Well, I'm gonna need you to rewind. What's that. important is that uh, no, no. What's important is that you rewind that sentence. What do you mean by keep my speech? Are you trying to turn me into bacon? No, I'm concerned that the madness will fade, and that eventually your powers of speech will fade with them. Has that it happened won't. before? Well, no one's ever shown up with speech before. So these 
individuals show up without the ability to speak. Yes, yes, I've already written the House of Religion. He's going to be here tomorrow morning, roast haste, and when he comes, he will attempt to uh, wipe the madness from you, and in this moment, you will probably end up like Bacon here. Have you not drawn a parallel between them all missing their tongues? They don't missing their tongues, and Bacon... Uh, oh, you remember okay. that they have this uh, scratch, oh, and you can okay. see the larynx. <laughs> that their larynx. You can see that he too is equipped with one of these bangles around his neck. What is what is the process to for this house of religions to clear the madness from us? What is what is that like? I, uh, I'm not the, 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 the religious governor. I, uh, uh, he, he comes, he says a few words and uh, uh, performs some great powerful magics, a great clerics of Sophlet he is. And he will uh, be the one to uh, uh, hopefully sap any of the corruption that may have imbued you or any of the objects you may have found in the, in the mountains of madness. Well, so you're saying we were at the mountains of madness? I'm saying that you were in the madness, and that they were the mountains. It is an endless, endless plain of mountains in all directions, filled with terrible monsters. I'm um, amazed that oh, we I know were we able killed to the you. several of them. Now, I thought this was just a barren wasteland, and we're apparently in some place called Ogerton. Now, how do you all survive here in this absolute wasteland? How do you get any of these ingredients? This is a, a paradise. It's, 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 it, was, it was made here by our God to, so that we would be able to pursue the knowledge of the world so that we could complete our quest as ogres. Does the weather feel warmer than like the Arctic? It's like 45 or 50 degrees. Oh my God. It is humid. The warm air is blowing in through the wind, and you realize that even in this robe, you're extremely comfortable. The negative zero, negative 15, negative 45 is almost like a distant memory to you all of a sudden. It, you are realiz realizing that uh, even though he's taking these towels and, and sort of dotting his head as he's uh, uh, flush with excitement and speaking with you, that uh, it is mild. Many, so we, are we still on Drakkar? Drakkar. Yeah, the continent of ice. You you found us on. We were in the we were at a hot spring on Drakkar. Drakkar. It's a word I've never heard before. That's fascinating. <coughs> you believe that we sprung out of existence like this, wearing what we wore, mm -hmm. despite the signs of age and. Our faces, the weathering on our possessions. Yes. Can I ask you another question? I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Why don't you think it's more important to study a subject in their natural form of being than to completely conform and change them into something else? Your natural form and being is is, is as you would be here at Uncleton. No, no. What I'm saying is you took away all of our stuff. And you're going to give us to some strange person to take away our ability to speak? No, 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 you're not understanding. What? This is just the madness speaking. But why? Those artifacts, the things you came in, will be studied. They will be examined. But they don't will you be think, cleansed of corruption. Don't you think we should be studied before you send us off to someone? Don't you think it makes more sense to keep us around and see how we progress over the course of a week or a month or a year before you send us off somewhere? As someone who's only been alive for perhaps oh, a week. Oh, you are. Mm, you, you are. are you're, you're speaking crazy madness. Of course you're going to. I'm speaking crazy madness. You're going to be. Your name's something McGillicuddy Von Boomafu. It's Manius Ogris Bloginius. All right. And, 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 all right, and understand. Man. And are you sure that's your real name? You need to be protected. Are you sure you that's need to not be your healed. real name? The are you madness. sure that's your real name? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. Isn't it ironic that you are a man ogre and your name is Manius Ogreus? <laughs> They're in a place called Ogreton. Oh, is that spelled T-O-N or T-O-W-N, but just pronounced T-O-N? I wrote it down with just T-O-N. How do you spell Ogreton? Uh, O-G-R-E-T. I can't, you can spell? It's remarkable. 
I have been alive probably longer than you have. Hundreds of years. Hundreds of years? Yeah. <laughs> Where are my manners? Would you like a hot towel? Does it have some kind of poison on it? It's just hot water and towel. I don't trust it. You know, I will say... Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a towel. And he, he reaches up and he leans down and hands you uh, a, a face towel. I've, uh... That's nice and refreshing. I've broken the bones of uh, well-dressed merchants and nobles for uh, less than that condescending laugh of yours. <laughs> But seeing how there's... What's, what's your name? My name is Barnabas. Barnabas. Some call me the Dreadwake. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness. That's very threatening. Mm. He's very ferocious. I can see that. He, he looks it. You, you, you all look quite peculiar. I, uh, warped even from, I think, uh, perhaps another did effect you of... Just, did you just say I look warped? Well, I, you, you have to understand... Oh, he's gone. Well, uh, most most vassals, they look like uh, 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 the one you would call a daisy. daisy yes, and uh, the, uh, the 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 one that you just saw in here, bacon. Uh, uh, my my head, uh, the principal of uh, of our house. Was bacon a human? Human. Yep. Those are humans. Oh yes, we agree. <laughs> you call them humans as well. Oh yes, and. Did he, did he come from human heaven? It's already started. No, no, no. He came from ogre, to, uh, ogre heaven. And you what? are all reborn vassals okay, just like well, them. Hold on, hold on. He came from are ogre you, heaven? Hold on. So are you trying to say that we are ogre souls in reborn bodies? Or uh, how do we come from ogre heaven if we're not ogres? In ogre heaven, there are uh, 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 similar vassals like bacon, and uh, uh, they go back and forth. Our, our vassal population is very stable. Where do you get them from? Where do we get them from? Well, we yeah. find them in the mountains, though I will say it's been centuries. Centuries. Uh, primarily, they just live here with us. No, no, I'm talking about how do you find, where do the vassals in heaven come from? I'm not sure I understand your question. You're if very confusing. If, and I'm not confusing, <laughs> sir. You're confusing. What I'm trying to say is if you come from ogre heaven, that's a heaven for ogres. How are you getting humans into ogre heaven? Where are they coming from? Are you stealing them from human heaven? Are you stealing them from not heaven? Where are you getting the vassals in? Uh, where are you getting the vassals in ogre heaven, sir? No, Queen. The, in, what he is saying is that in his religion, everything comes from ogre heaven. It is the origin. Oh, what is your name, that. sir? I am called Jornir. Jornir, the smart one. <laughs> I'm just picking up context clues. Uh, and your name, your name sir? Your name. My name's Tai Shen. Tai Shen, wow. Yes. Mr. Fire Blossom. Usually vessels have names like clove Ta and honey. <laughs> it's very strange. Like well, Queenie? my last name's Fire Blossom. That's kind of similar. Oh, you It's kind of like clove, but with a little more flair to it. <laughs> vessels don't usually have last names. They can't oh. marry after all. <laughs> Was it really on my agenda? I hadn't thought about it before. I was kind of do do a... ogres have the sacrament of marriage? Oh yeah. yes, oh yes. Uh, I, I actually uh, I haven't uh, introduced you to my wife yet, but I understand that she'll be here any minute. I would like to send my condolences to your wife. Hmm. Would you like a hot towel? I'll get you a hot towel. I think I'm good. <laughs> I'd take a hot towel. <laughs> That's fucking good. It's a, it's a little hot. It's a little big. That's pretty good. I get it. <laughs> um, seeing the towels and the soup that I haven't touched yet, and the the bands on our necks. Uh, my right, I'm queen, yeah, yeah. my right eye will uh, flash blue, and I will use detect magic and see. What I'm, if I'm picking up anything magical, knowing that he had the wand. Uh, what are the components of detect magic? 
Uh, it is inherent in my fear bold blood. Oh, so you're blood magicking. Yes, I'm blood Very magicking. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Didn't steal all my blood too, Derek. <laughs> oh! Let us tie him up and you realize you don't have any blood. You realize you're a prune. <laughs> You've been squeezed. Oh, we just got to squeeze. Uh, Bring out the ticks. <laughs> Before you met. Tickus Maximus, come feast and leeches. <laughs> Before you detect magic, let's take a quick break. <laughs> You're all still sitting on these uh, enormous Shea Lounge, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, uh, benches or, or uh, uh, beds, uh, looking up at Manius. And uh, he's still standing there, um, occasionally grabbing a new hot towel, uh, occasionally taking a drink of, uh, uh, of soup. And uh, in this moment, uh, I don't think with any of your awareness, but you're near, you use your blood magic to cast <laughs> Detect Magic. <laughs> and you do not get any magic from the room or around you, or uh, aside from the, the faint background magic that you would get from your magical allies. But you do experience a tremendous amount of magic at the hip of Manius. And looking down, you get the sense that there is a very powerful magical item just underneath his robe. Oh god, is his penis a magical <laughs> item? Yes, and he's nine and a half inches soft. <laughs> <laughs> My enchanted chastity gauge. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nasty. <laughs> So unhappy with this. Uh, this isn't to secure me. <laughs> <laughs> to save you. <laughs> and suddenly, a good time. And suddenly uh, uh, another ogre uh, appears at the door, uh, this open door. A, a shorter ogre, uh, a younger ogre, uh, wearing the same uh, sort of uh, uh, bright but light pink robes. Uh, Father, are they awake? Oh yes, uh, no, yes, of course, of course, of course. Uh, come in. Uh, I, I need you to meet uh, uh, Taishen, uh, Yornir, Queenie, and uh, Barnabas Dredwick. They are just uh, uh, fascinating, fascinating. They still speak, you know. They do. Oh wow, that's amazing. It's nice to see you again, Julian. I'm sorry. I tried to scare you. I was trying to do, do a little bit of a prank. Oh, it was just a prank, bro. <laughs> You're lucky that you didn't yeah. get a harpoon to the throat, sneaking up on us like that. Well, well, well. Uh, normally, that doesn't uh, uh, that, that that sort of thing doesn't happen. It, it, it doesn't. Uh, we, we 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 scare you and then and then make you. Uh, from what I understand, am I am I am I messing it up, Father? No, no, no. It's uh, it's quite fine. It's quite fine. Uh, yes, uh, he he didn't he doesn't understand the ways of the world. I had been taking him out into the mountains to to show him uh, the ways to perhaps uh, uh, slay a foul monster or uh, 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 discover some well. We discovered you, and so everything's fine. Uh, have you been doing your homework? Yeah. <laughs> have you been doing your homework? I've been memorizing all the names. I just, I just, I, uh, I not, 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 uh, if you get all of your work done before uh, sunset, let's say, we'll play ball. Ball? Ball, yes, of course. Uh, we we, we go, to go out to the courtyard and uh, uh, have a throw of it. All right, and he turns around and he trips and he sort of oh fuck and he like <laughs> slams into the into the frame of the door before oh and then and then like gets up and just like skitters out into the hallway His and disappears disappears yeah. and then you hear another uh, set of footsteps. Oh, that must be my wife. Uh, everyone, everyone, be calm, be calm. Yo, yo, great surprise. Be calm. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. And he turns and he closes the door, leaving the four of you alone for the first time since you were awoken uh, for what seems to be uh, uh, perhaps a very brief period of time. Mr. Yornir. Yes. Did I pick up the bottle and just black out? Oh, this is a shared moment between all of us. This is. Oh, I'm sober oh, right now. Yes. You are. Ha! Huh! It definitely seems to be happening. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped over. I dropped one of their ancient artifacts. <laughs> uh, is there a window? Yeah, there's the large open window with the purple drapes that uh, seems to be open. <laughs> uh, I would like to stand up and walk 
to the window and try to like look out to see if I can look over the city. You hop down and uh, you seem to be staring into the interior of what is a large villa. Uh, a square courtyard is what it confronts you when you look down and you can see that it is palatial. There's green grass, there's a beautiful fountain in the center uh, with some statue uh, 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 adorning it, uh, water spraying out in different directions. Uh, very, very um, uh, well fashioned. Uh, looks looks brand new even. And then you have uh, topiaries. Uh, these large hedges that have been shaped and you can see that they've been built to uh, or carved to look like Manius and what you can think, only assume is the rest of his family, a, a, a large, tall woman, what you think is uh, 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 Julianus, uh, 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 two other young girls, uh, uh, and, a, and, a, and a, perhaps a teenage uh, uh, woman. You see uh, two vassals out there, down, down there as well, uh, similarly draped in uh, uh, robes. These uh, are, are uh, actually light pink, or light uh, purple, and uh, they are clipping and trimming and silently <laughs> working the garden. Um, you, th that is what confronts you. And staring at the sky, the beautiful bright blue sky, uh, it seems still to be quite warm. You enjoy the, the fresh warmth against your skin. Uh, it, it's almost like summer in Mammut when you stare out into the space, but uh, as if it was a, a wealthy um, manor owner. Do I get any sense of like which way it's north, Where the, like based on where the sun is, or... Can I see like some of the mountain, like uh, uh, the tips of the mountains, where I think where we would be? Make a perception check. I, what I'm trying to sort of get a sense and of is the do I feel like I'm we're like in some weird portal, planar dimension, like totally gone, uh, or um, do we do we feel like we're here in Drakkar? It's just they don't have the concept of that. Can I twist this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Use two twists. Twist twist. twist. Use two twists. Twist. Yeah, two mm -hmm. twists. Yeah. I want to find out where the I fuck we are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you, chat. Oh no. Even with two? Do you know oh. what I rolled before this? Yeah. Yeah. Six, six, six. <gasps> <gasps> no yeah. fucking joke. What? What? One in eight thousand chance, Whoa, chance everybody. Yeah. Wow. One in eight thousand chance for, uh, for, the, for the devil's I, mean, I think it's gonna, it, I think it's gonna be pretty reasonable wrath. given that you're uh, your wisdom, knows wisdom knows baby. Time so it's plus eight. Pretty good. Uh, six plus eight, whatever that 14. is. Fourteen. Fourteen. With a fourteen, I'll say that uh, you do spy. Uh, just over the roof, you can see the ridges of uh, what appears to be mountains. And um, <coughs> it feels like a real place that you are in. Uh, it feels like you're not in a... You don't. Again, that detect magic is still going. You don't get a sense that there's any like portal or dome or anything along those lines. Uh, it, this feels all natural. I believe we are in Drakkar, but the abandoned kingdom that the Dragonborn told us about has clearly been inhabited in the, perhaps in the meantime, since they've been dead. Hmm. Is it possible we're in <coughs> Ogre Heaven? No, we are, you can see the mountains there, you can see we are still in the car, those are the mountains that we were following on the way south. How how does it come to be so nice here? We were just in frigid, bitter winter. If I were to guess, perhaps this hexature armament has some side effect of making the climate warm or pleasant, or they're harnessing it in some way, or if it's not here, whatever magical artifacts that we know are here, perhaps that is the same. Wait, the scepter that uh, old Manny Esplainer over here is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's really waving around. <laughs> that was really good. Make a nature check of advantage. <laughs> That's better. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, nature, you say... I'm not in base, but it's a 20. Uh, with a dirty 20, um, you are aware, uh, just like the hot springs that you were found in, that there are places in even the coldest of climates that <coughs> have unusually warm weather. Uh, these are usually geothermal events that there are uh, places where uh, just because of the nature of perhaps uh, some sort of uh, underground magma or, or water flow that uh, it's possible that this feature could be found in Drakkar, but it 
It seems uh, uh, amazing that you would find yourself in, in a place like this. It is possible that it is natural due to uh, think of the hot spring that we found. Just think of that, but at a large scale, perhaps that is what is happening. <clears throat> Well, is there any chance we wait out the winter here? Do we believe them to be that? Mania seems kind of nice, except for knocking us out, dragging us here, stripping off all our clothes and stealing all our stuff. These robes are kind of nice. And I like this soup. Is the soup good? It's delicious, and I didn't answer Barnabas's question, but uh, it is a, a, a beef and vegetable stew. It's it's uh, like country style. It's 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 warming. It's uh, bright. It is uh, savory. Uh, very flavorful. Uh, mm. I would hesitate, but given the fact that I'm Wenda cursed, uh, I'm I'm gonna not hesitate to utterly annihilate it. Uh, Tashi, I hate to be a downer on your hopeful mood. But you know how Daisy has that mark on her neck? Yes. I think if we stay here too long, we're all going to have one of those marks. And then we won't be able to hear the beautiful dulcet tones of your voice anymore. Oh. But didn't they say they didn't hear anyone speak beforehand? And people who can speak is something they've never encountered before. It seems like... He thinks we were born yesterday. Well, he's, you know... He's got some. They named that poor man Bacon. I actually thought that was a pretty good name. <laughs> they changed Daisy's name from Daisy to like Blasferatu or something. El Catra. I was close. Yeah. Oh. Are you like a. She cat like? Is she cat like? El Catra well, sounds a lot more name like than. Bacon. Oh, wait a minute. But we know that Daisy and Honey, they were escaping something dangerous, a, a precarious position, bad place. This place. Re- if, if you want to remind me, <coughs> Happily. she... I'm trying to think back to when we started to head on this path. Was she concerned as like, hey, that's where I escaped from or anything? Did she try to warn us at all about that? I kind of... It's she, been a while. Yeah, she, like, spit on the ground. She... She was... Well, no, I'm sorry. That's what I mean. She spit on the ground, and she's like, that was an awful place. Fuck them. Any name no, no. is better. No, I think... Well, you mean, like, when, in, like, last session, when, how did she oh. react? We were here. We decided to go down the other side to go to the ruins. She did not react to, Correct. like, the region we were in. She was... I think she was just, like, in a hot spring hanging out. But when they showed up, she started freaking out. And she was doing, like, the mm. belly thing and pointing and, like, pointing her throat. And she, she was, like, going but nuts. He said that she's from the house of... Was it Commons? Commons. Commons or Commons? Oh. Commerce? Commerce. oh. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gork Augustus. <clears throat> so, what color... What color robes did Bacon have? Uh, <clears throat> he would have had uh, a light primary color uh, of robe. Okay, I wasn't sure if like the the colors the meant like yeah. uh, different houses. houses yeah. 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 Well, my only concern is that the vibe of this sort of town feels sort of like Pompeii and Herculaneum, and given that it's sort of you know volcanic events. Maybe there's going to be a horrible volcanic explosion that kills them all. Oh, you know, like the doom of Ogerton is exactly coming this right. way. But I don't know. That's just sort of what it makes me think of. Oh, you- Mariana! <laughs> <laughs> Mariana, I've got a surprise for you, dear. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> back! Oh, I can't <laughs> believe it! Oh, my sweet husband! Oh, <laughs> Oh, a surprise! What have you gotten me? Have you gotten me another cat? No. <laughs> have you gotten me a bear? It's in this next room. I'm not going to bring a bear in the house, Mariana. <laughs> have you brought... Well, what have you gotten me? What could it possibly be? You're going to have to find out. Open the door. Open the door. <gasps> and all of a sudden, the door slams open, and you see a bald woman wearing a similarly pink-robed uh, uh, hat, carrying a cat, a huge gray cat who's hanging there, just... <laughs> 
Babies, you found four more vessels to join our family. I'm so pleased. Oh. And she starts to run forward, and she immediately picks you up, Taishan, and gives you a huge hug, like oh. a bear hug. Oh. Uh, I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh. Oh, alright. Oh my god, a six! This, this tray is cursed, I think. Oh, yes. Um, a dex save. Nine. With a nine, uh, the cat <laughs> hits you. Oh, you take one point of slashing damage. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, and she turns and she just drops you back into your seat. Uh, she turns, oh, what are you names? Oh, she grabs you, Yornir, and you just find yourself suddenly stuck by this uh, ten foot tall, giant bald, balding woman. Am, Hideous, of course. <laughs> I'm called Yornir. And I'm Tai Shen. Oh. However, we are not vassals. Uh, I believe your husband is confused. No, you're part of the family. Welcome to House Bloginia. Oh, and she goes and she tries to grab both of you uh, at the same time. No, you need a dexterity saving throw. Oh, both of you. Her. Okay. It's, it's for the cat, if yeah. you want to avoid the cat. Uh, uh, 20, 21. Point of slashing 21. damage. <laughs> oh, no, I'm advantage, yeah. Uh, one, you do not. You do not get. Uh, you, you're you're, you're able to do side. this with oh, yeah. your face, and and the 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 claw just barely dodges <gasps> your hat. Oh, I love it! I love it! I love you! Oh, hey, madam. She turns to Manny. I love you. Oh yes, of course. I was able to heroic. Mm. Mm. And they suddenly start to basically make out in front of you. Mm. Mm. I'm like mm. right under their chin. Mm. And I'm, uh. mm. He grabs. Tyshen like, blushes. Tyshen blushes. He grabs her ass, and they oh, make it. They, like, they, they have a long kiss. Intensifies. Oh, my heart lies heavy for you, dear. I haven't been back in a week. I know. I'm so glad you're back. It's like you've replaced my heart with the sun, and then it exploded. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're just onboarding them. They're going to be uh, 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 visited by uh, the House of uh, Religion soon, and then they'll be uh, 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 full-on uh, members, uh, vassals, members of the family. Could you please reunite us with our companions? I'm sure you'll see them around, but they're part of another family. Oh, so they are... We've been, like, separated permanently. Oh, yes, it only made sense. After all, that was a terrible business that, uh... Uh, the, the, the one you call... Uh, uh I'm sorry. He, you never mentioned the other name, so he would refer to her as... Clove! Uh, Clove uh, never returned, so it only made sense to make their family whole again. When did they leave first? Uh, we got them, uh, as soon as we came back, we, we, we uh, sent them on their way in a carriage, uh, all the way down to the, the, the villa of uh, the house. I have it here, this one moment. Yeah, I've known them my whole I've life. I've known them my whole life. <laughs> I just am not used to jungling so many oh, NPCs all over the place. Oh, oh I have only onset dementia. <laughs> it's actually quite sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Gorkigustus house, yes, of course. Uh, oh, Gorkigustus, we know oh, Gorkigustus. Yeah, sure, yeah, Gorkigustus, House of Gomers, House of Gomers. Of course. I feel like Dobro needs to be here. <laughs> he really does. Oh, yes, Gorkigustus. You're my whole life. What I mean Good is guy. that when Clove and Elkatra first left here. Yes. When was this? How did they get away? Oh, it was uh, a month and a half, two months ago, however long, three months. The, 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 one of their old vassals had uh, escaped years ago, years ago, and he came back, and uh, they, then, then Clove and Alcatra made their way out. Uh, I have no idea what deal they made with uh, uh, Commodus. However, uh, they, whatever they said, uh, he stayed and they left into the madness. It's crazy. There's quite a scandal, really. Were you or your people the ones that conducted the surgery on their throats? No, no, no. We, we've never done a surgery surgery on their throats. Uh, no, it's not surgery. They're, they're born this way. It's not something that we do to a vassal. This is why your nature of speech is so unusual. You've... We've, we've never had a non-ogre be able to use the common tongue in this manner. 
Or is it all just uh, humans then that are your vassals, or are there other species about? Uh, well, they're, they're small humanoids like yourself, uh, humans, and whatever you are, and then there. Well, you have other tritons. Triton? No, I don't know what a triton is. <sighs> Dragonborn. Any any more? Perhaps silver in scale. Drakarborn. Okay, mm. Dragonborn. Are uh, you sure it's not Drakar? You said Drakar earlier. I have it here. I did say Drakar earlier, but I was actually born in Yulong. On the Jade Shell Isles. We brew a mean cup of tea. That madness is just fascinating. What an imagination you have. It's remarkable what you've... I, I wish to record it all before you forget. It is truly remarkable. I have to go, honey. I, I, I'm Yama's. It's going to get his apparel done today. The weavers are almost complete. I must make my way. I <laughs> want to get that bitch Cassia Magathius <laughs> at the cat costume, cost, cat costume contest later. Thank you for the gift. I will be seeing you at dinner. Of course, of course, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And she turns and, and walks out. I mean, I kind of want to stay here forever. <laughs> I'm so with the ball the same thing. Yeah. Nature wants to stay here forever. Queen has had enough. <laughs> Manis, what what are these uh, what are these uh, necklaces that that we have after we've woken up? Oh, the pendants. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this will indicate uh, what uh, family you are part of. Uh, it uh, is uh, also a protective uh, ward or charm. Uh, Make sure that you uh, don't get affected by the madness again. Uh, well, what symbols are for each of the houses? So we may know as we travel about your fair ogre town. It is not a matter of symbols, really. It is uh, connected to our wands. You you saw me use it when we found you at the hot springs. Do you recall? Is that what sits on your hip now as we speak? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, logos are equipped with them. They're very important. It allows us to uh, uh, use powerful magics. I uh, know mm. that that might seem strange to you, but uh, it's how I was able to uh, uh, safely transport you in your sleeping states. All ogres have these wands. Uh, not ch- children. Uh, they, they've not yet uh, uh, been educated. Uh, that's part of my responsibility. As governor of education, I make sure that they all are equipped to deal with the realities of the world. Okay, so there's I- education. And knowledge. Oh, yes. Commerce. Yes. Religion. Oh, yes. What were the other two? Do we three hear of the five. Do you know any of uh, Can anyone guess? Uh, ADC. No. Oh. Um. You're very rude, Queenie. I I do hope that you uh, uh, find that you all will be well fed and well kept here, part of the family. She's from the country, you and know. It's very the... bracing, is uh, and also very tiny. I'm sorry. What? Very bracing and also very tiny. <laughs> You have so, such big ears, I'm not I'm sure sorry, why I'm speaking up. I can't hear you. I think I'm losing my ability for human speech. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, is there a house of ships? Ooh. A Wait. house of ships? A like, house of ships? If there's a house of ships, then you've, you've assigned me to the wrong house. No, 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 not oh, ships. Oh, wow. Uh, I bet there's a house of law or militant or some sort of oh, enforcement. You're right on it. You're right on it. Military. Oh, yes. If you go to House Fangero, Lucius will introduce you to the House of the Military. He's governor. Ah. Oh, there's always the law. What is left? The man. So we have education, which is like the, you know, indoctrination. Perhaps, perhaps some sort of Religion. artistic endeavor, maybe creative. The arts. Ah, Your honor, you are the smart one. That is fantastic. Of course, if you went to House Gratenica, you'd meet Lucilla, governess. Of the I house of I just realized art. something. I was born yesterday. I remember who I was before I was born yesterday. And it was not Queen March. My name was Fiona. And I was a beautiful ogre princess. An ogre, you say? I was. Make a deception check. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I mean, if you're from Ogre Heaven, I don't you know. Oh, you don't. It stands to reason. Deception. <laughs> to well. <laughs> She believe that she was we once an ogre. 100%. I'm gonna twist it. Yeah, I, th I think we can go one down. One or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One or two. Let's do two. Let's do two. Let's, Let's twist, twist it. Right. Thank you, chat, Thank for you all them chat. twists. <laughs> Twelve. Wow. wow. I'm rolling eight to six. Gotta warm Man, it up in here. Not. Weather's gotten better. Weather's gotten better. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm actually, oh. I'm actually quite hot myself. I'm gonna take my sweater off. Oh. Um, yeah, I dropped it at 64. I'm still. I guess I'm wearing a lot. <laughs> of layers. <laughs> I'm feeling legends now, of the Vantrophy too. I can't Ooh, nice. Now I the can't roads. I can't promise that my memory is a hundred percent airtight. So I'm just getting little snippets okay. here you see. Uh, what kind of snippets are you getting? I can see myself as a bald ogre, beautiful, not quite as beautiful as your wife. Thank you. She is a looker. She is a catch, let Absolutely. me tell you. Mm -hmm. I thought you said mm -hmm. you were a redheaded ogre princess. I was until my hair fell out. Oh, uh, had <laughs> hair oh, that was uh, red and then fell out. It was, yes. Uh, Very confused. Yes. <laughs> um, green skin. Mm hmm. Yeah. And uh, just absolutely just built like a shit house. A brick house? A <laughs> shit brick house. Jesus. Shit brick house. <laughs> I can't tell you, Queenie, how... That must be why I thought my name was Queenie. Because I was a princess in my last life, and I was probably... Oh, my God. It's Ooh, all coming back to, to me. be a queen. No wonder I came here from Ogre Heaven. Oh, my gosh. Ogre Heaven really is real? I believe it is, yes. And perhaps she had a companion rabbit in gloves. I which is I, why I bet I did. <laughs> which is why there's you turn into a rabbit and miss life. No wonder I immediately felt myself drawn to your wife. I had a friend, a puss in boots. Ah, uh, puss. <laughs> I like ribbon gloves. Bit of a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I just feel, I don't know, I feel there's something there. And, you know, I apologize for the rude things I said to you. Because clearly being here is bringing my memory back to what it needs to be. No wonder I have speech. I was an ogre. It's an interesting theory. I have to dismiss it immediately. But that, uh, I have a bittersweet feeling. Tomorrow, in, in, in some ways, I want to learn everything that you imagine you know and, and write it all down, perhaps turn it into a book. And on the other hand, I feel terrible pain. I want to cure your... Make sure that you are restored to your proper self. I'm turning into... <laughs> no, that is something cryptic about Ogre Heaven. Something very cryptic. <laughs> you know I had it for a long time now. <laughs> uh, what's, the, what's my skeleton key? Of course, of course, of course. Yes, of yes. Uh, that's a bit of weakness, of course. This is... Now that you say this, Queenie, and I'll sort of like kind of knowingly like look, this coming back to me as well. Perhaps this is why... We have speech. Perhaps we are just reincarnated ogres from Ogre Heaven. In fact, it's coming back to me, the, the language of Ogre Heaven. And then I will speak in giant. Y y yes, the, the, my native tongue. This is it. Make See? a uh, deception check at advantage. Oh. 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 Lone Guard says one Insta story and Mikey has railroaded the whole set. <laughs> 18. 18. <laughs> Do you speak the language of Ogre Heaven? <laughs> I'm guessing you do based on the <laughs> look on your face. Question mark. Sophilith tests us indeed. 
This is beyond anything. I cannot. My heart sings. <laughs> yes, we are not merely vassals. Perhaps if five of us, including our small green friend, perhaps <laughs> we are all prophets of the great ogre gods. It would make complete sense why we were delivered here with a vassal of our own. This we had true. Daisy in tow. This is a mystery beyond mysteries. This uh, is unbelievable. You were found in the madness, you see. I have it written down all here. Such impossible, crazy things. And yet, you speak the language of our god, Sophilith. This is... Yes. Sophilith. Perhaps you're right. We uh, will need to consult with the other houses. I've had dreams before of where I was a, a great ogre brigand that led the black sail crew Trothak the shark puncher I had a great shark on each arm sounds jossum oi and jossum it was Manius and jossum it was we will need you no, I needed no weapon beyond my fist and the chomping jaws of the sharks tied to them. Of course, yes. <laughs> oh, I just dunk him in some seawater occasionally. <sighs> I need another hot towel. <laughs> I, Would you like my hot towel? There have been tales of great... <laughs> you throw it to him. Of great bands of, <laughs> of heroes of all species and cultures who come from different backgrounds. And perhaps are reincarnated in a new life for our next adventure. Perhaps we were all ogre companions. We died, we went to ogre heaven, and were reincarnated instantly. You may call me Trothak now. Barnabas was merely a ruse from the, perhaps the cruel trickster gods of this terrible land. Oh, man, I've got to go to sleep. I haven't had any of these dreams. <laughs> what? <coughs> you okay? Come Are you covered in ancient estuary again? Realizing your true past is difficult. I'm not surprised that Barnabas has an itch in his throat. It will come to you, Tyshan, or whoever you are supposed to be. Uh, I believe perhaps maybe in your past life, instead of the fire blossom, you were fire belly. And maybe mm. a great brewer of like ale or something. <laughs> Wow. There is there is a bully anus in town. I a bully anus? Bully anus. Oh, that was very close to being an unfortunate name. <laughs> there are no unfortunate ogre to ogre names, except for that organicus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying from organicus. <laughs> I'm sorry, kids, the last time. <laughs> this is um, uh, unbelievable. We have to have a hypothesis. We have to we have to experiment. We have to understand that on the one hand, you are unusual in appearance. That could explain why you do not appear as the others who serve us. On the other hand, you are uh, uh, affected by some kind of madness, saying things that simply cannot be true. And on the other hand, you, you have, have the power of speech. Do you have tales? fables, historical texts that speak of a coming of powerful beings. We have, of course, many religious texts. I keep them all in the library. I have you read every single one of them, front to back? I am happy to say that I have. I am the most learned man in Ogerton. I will happily re uh, report to you anything you want to know from the library. Have you heard of anything about a great coming of ogres from Ogre Heaven? Nothing, nothing like that. But once we compile all the knowledge there is to learn about the mortal world, we will be returned to heaven on our silver ship, the Dominant Mind, and we will make our way back to Ogre Heaven. Did heroes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, heroes did, in I'm the owls of our ancestors. Did you say the silver ship? Oh, yes. Did you know that Barnabas is a captain? Oi, Trothak the Shark Puncher. Is it possible... Is it possible you've already found all the information there is 
to have, and we were sent here to ferry you back to Ogre Heaven? With a captain in tow, a vassal of our own, a princess, a god, and whatever Tashan is meant to be? A fire I need, brewer. I need to make a group deception check. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And uh, Taishan, yours is an advantage, or disadvantage. Oh! Nice. Deception? Not bad, actually. I can use this. Try twist. Yes. 19. Ooh. 21. Can I twist? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Everyone twist roll, that needs if to. If I roll a disadvantage, do I just, just roll I one? Just roll one, yeah, you roll one. Roll the low one. Yeah, you're getting oh, a reroll. Oh. <laughs> 21. 21, 19. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, 16. 16? 15. 15. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're your holy crew of ogre uh, pirates. I think perhaps in a former life, Mr. Fire Blossom, we were perhaps companions. It all makes sense now. Or right? should I say, Shagoth the Black, the greatest, the father of all of the dragon ogres. The dragons traitors. that worshipped great dark dragon gods and claimed their power fell in combat and it was foretold that he would one day awaken. And perhaps this is your awakening. This is stirring something within me. Yeah, I knew it would. Perhaps memories it's stirring. This might be it. Shagoth the Black. Perhaps the Black Dread, actually. Ooh, Dread White. <laughs> <laughs> father! Father! You can hear a voice cry out through the arced open window. And uh, Manius waltzes forward, uh, 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 distracted immediately from his studies and writing of your behavior and the things that you say. And he walks over, he looks down. What is it, Julianus? I finished. I'm ready to play ball. <laughs> Very good, son. I would love to be spending more time with you, but I think that you'd be in better hands. Bacon! Bacon! Uh, better hand, hand in the hands of uh, Principal uh, Bacon. Uh, we will talk again, I think, very soon. But I have a date with my son. That's and he turns gross. and he <laughs> <laughs> that's phrasing. Just, that's just oh, that's quite. You enjoy your time. We reborn ogre heroes of old. We need to reclaim our memories. Mm -hmm. Now that the process has begun, thank to, thanks to your great magic. If you are what you say you are, we must be so close to the end. And um, to think, you were the one that discovered us and helped us reclaim our memories. You will go down in history of all ogre kind as the most intelligent and one of the greatest of all ogres. They might call you the Silver Admiral. Wow. Manius. Ogres Bloginius. The Silver Admiral? Aye. Admiral. Perhaps a fleet of Ooh. silver ships Governor will join of us. Education, head of the library. All of these titles sound very Aye. good. Yes, and he starts to leave and he, and he doesn't close the door behind him. He waltzes out and starts to make his way through his villa to see his son. And it isn't moments later that Bacon will appear, but you have a sec. I can't believe we're all ogres! Oh, you are so cute, Tashan. <laughs> no, I know. No, yes, we are all ogres, yes. We're, yes. Yeah, we're all ogres. Uh, yes. What was your name, Mr. Yornir? Did I, you not did you I not come? Not given one. Okay. Perhaps given the fact that I you have to speak remember their it. language, should I appear as maybe like the avatar of the reincarnation of yeah, the god so far? I, I think you should that should be you. I am a princess. It then explains why I can speak. Ogre giant and I cannot, and, yeah. And well, does it does make know. sense for a god to be reborn? I don't know. I think it totally does, or he's like the avatar of a god. There are many legends and religions where their god takes human form. Hey, we're going to road to El Dorado this then. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's tough to be an ogre god. Can I give me Chica? Well, I am your your dread captain, 
the black sail. Oh, and that's what I was thinking of. I mean, the oh. black dread is, I was just too much on my own. You don't have to be Shagoth. I could have just misspoke. What do you mean? But I thought it was Shagoth the Black. You are. Of our you are. That's what, we, that's what we've owners. seen in our memories, Tasha. Oh, the Black Rock. Oh. Make a perception check, everyone. Shagoth Black Rock. I like that. I like that. And this makes sense how I came up with that cinnamon tea <laughs> that had a kick with jalapeno. Where did that come from? <laughs> oh, it was probably Shagoth. I was probably Shagoth. Oh, uh, the father of the dragon ogres. I it just I just came to me out of nowhere. <laughs> perception. <laughs> Suddenly <laughs> everyone was breathing fire. And 20, 16. 16, 29? 21. 21, 20, 16. 19. 19. Perception? Yeah. Five. Five. Uh, you're talking and you're looking out the window and uh, you can see Manius has made his way out into this courtyard onto the grass next to this fountain uh, to meet with his son. And uh, his son has this uh, large... Uh, uh, Bowl, for lack of a better term, and uh, they both they both go to the corner. What is it? Does it just look kind of like a normal ball? It looks like a softball f- football, like a, it's it's football colored and skinned, but it is softball sized in a hand of an ogre. Okay. And uh, they throw it, and it <laughs> lands on the grass, and then one of them goes and picks it up, and then makes their way back to the other one, and then the other one takes the ball and throws it, and it. <laughs> and then they go and get it and they're not playing catch they're just throwing the ball and then retrieving it <laughs> and then coming back and they seem to be talking but they're playing fetch it, <laughs> that is so it cute seems, it seems sad cute and stupid all at once <laughs> With a 21 year near, you're the first to notice. You're the first to notice oh. that the silent hand or principle of this house Bacon is standing in the doorway, listening to all of, of, of you have this conversation. Bacon, welcome to our council room. Ah, uh, hey, as we regain our memories of heroes of Ogre Past. Oh, what were we called? The Ogre Cap? Oh. The heroes of High Mall, perhaps. Ooh. I think that's a great name. Perhaps I was in the land. Where, where, where are you leaving us? All right, we shall follow. Mm, oy. Perhaps we will. He um, takes you uh, down. Uh, and you realize that this villa is beautiful, enormous. It is uh, uh, at least three stories on the side that you're on. And there are uh, many adjacent rooms, some circular, some square. Uh, There are columns in all directions. There's drapes. There's art plaster on the wall. There's ceramic tiles in in the same way that your uh, uh, room that you woke up in was adorned by. Um, There are skylights occasionally peeking out from time to time. Beautiful chairs and furnishings in all directions. This This is a wealthy home and he makes his way eventually down to a um a landing area where you can see two great staircases guide you down to the first floor and that is where you turn back into the innards of this villa making your way through these many hallways passing through some open entryways other doors that are closed other doors that are opened these uh everything is ogre scaled. So even for your medium uh, sized uh, humanoids, uh, and even for you, Yorn here, everything is spacious. The ceilings are high and tall. The The rooms are wide. The, the, the seating for every single chair that you could possibly find yourself sitting on, Queenie, none of your feet would ever, ever touch Thank the God. floor. And... Uh, he makes your way, uh, makes his way with you past a kitchen, past um, uh, all kinds of um, uh, additional uh, uh, servants of the house, vassals. You, you see them all working and some weaving. You pass past uh, uh, Mariana. <laughs> She's dressed up the cat uh, in like a little top hat with like a little bow tie, and uh, <laughs> and it's looking extremely grumpy and already like done with the day. But you think that that's probably always its so mood. So is this Give- like a Maine Coon? Like this is gigantic. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. And like huge, like tufts of gray hair in all directions, just cat. matted and like the insane. size of a giant mastiff, but a cat. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, just right. a tiger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A snow yeah, leopard. Yeah, yeah. I said, 100%. Yeah. And uh, he takes you and he goes. And, he, and he's, he's pointing. He's pointing to uh, a, a, a room that seems to be near the branch of this villa where the vassals sleep. There, there. You're, you're passing now what look more like hostel rooms with bunk beds and these sorts of features. And he points through, and you can see that this is the baths. This is the showers. This is. And he looks at you all, and he points. Are you saying we stink and we should take a shower? That's fine, I agree with you. I do have a question while we bathe. Could uh, our possessions, our belongings that were removed from us, could we have those returned to us, please? At least the shells. It's a pearlescent spiral nautilus shell. Um, everyone make an intelligence check at advantage. It's not a weapon. It's just very precious to me. Now, I, I, oh, advantage? Advantage. Oh, wow. 19. 13. 18. 19. Every one of you suddenly realizes that this is not Daisy. This is another similarly hand-coding vassal in his town of, of Ogre, in his station. And he may have the highest station of the vassals here, but he's not signing to you the way that the that Daisy or Honey did. He is gesturing and in this moment he goes like you'll never get that back. And you all understand him because you've spent enough time with Daisy but he doesn't realize that you <gasps> see and understand what he's saying. What do you mean we're never going to get that back? You can understand me? Yeah, of course we can. We're literally reborn ogres. The ogres don't understand this. <gasps> oh, they're just not paying attention. They don't see what we see. They've never understood us. We've tried everything. Well, that's just unfortunate. You can read my hands? Yeah. This is how only just how we communicate with each other. You are like a bridge between worlds. Why we're here. Aye, the bridge between worlds. Well, Aye, the, say true. We the, have a friend who speaks like you do. We learned it from her. Yeah, Daisy. She's she's going by... Uh, and Catra. Yeah. El Catra. El Catra. They El name Katra. us the stupidest things. Famous, <laughs> famous your name's, wrestler. Your name's Bacon. What I'm, may we call you if you can perhaps... They give us all food names. What's El Catra. Oh. It's a it's a stewed beef uh, 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 dish. It, 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 it's uh, I, I understand that it's been uh, an ancient dish in Ogerton for. Oh, so we ate upstairs. Uh, uh, no, no, no. That was just stew. This is a this Hoyven. is a, a braised dish. Uh, it probably isn't worth cooking if I even heard of it. It's clear I sailed across I mean, all of the mattress. I do, I do like a braised meat, though. Anyway, we're getting side. Oh, I've been to eleven of the twelve ogres. continents. Wow, really? Oh yeah, yeah. This was my eleventh. Is there a name you would prefer that we refer to you as that is not bacon? We we don't really give each other names. We, 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 it's it's too hard without the ability to talk to do anything but stay in the present and make sure that you're doing all the work that you can do, pulling your weight as part of the house. And perhaps we will continue with bacon to maintain our heroic. Divine ogre tood. Well, bacon. Don't why? Why do you think we won't get our stuff back? Don't they give it back when they cleanse us of the madness? When Julianus and Manius arrived, they immediately sent all of your things as though they were toxic or poison to be in, inspected. They believe it's it's infected by the madness. I. They may be right. It may, it may be the safest choice for it, for it to go into the city and, and be observed by those there who do that sort of thing. I, I, I don't know the full process, but then they sent uh, your, your friend and uh, uh, Alcatra away. Now you're just here, part of the family. How long have you 
been in this position. My whole life. Well, I mean, not as as principal. I've been principal for close to ten years. But you were born here. Yes, we we all have been. Uh, the 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 relationship of vassal and and house and family and ogre. This has been true for centuries. <clears throat> so. What have you been told to do with us once we bathe? Uh, You'll be able to rest. You'll be able to learn a little bit about what work needs to be done here. I was hoping to have uh, an evaluation of you to, to understand what you're good at, but now I can just ask. to find a way to understand what's going on here. Aye. Trothak Shark Puncher needs a good bath. Yes. Right, Shagoth Blackrock? Shagoth of the Blackrock mm. could use a cleanup as well. It is understandable uh, that you would want a bath. Can you please refer to me as Fiona going forward? That is my true name. The, the only way I can refer to you is like this. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm asking. <laughs> Can you point real hard? If that if that's what you feel in your heart, then that's fine. Uh, please enjoy the amenities. Uh, Take all the time you need. We'll talk about how you're going to serve the house. It's the most important thing, and we'll take it one day at a time. Can you before we get in? Can you help me with my pendant? I don't want to get it wet. Those don't come off. Oh, well. And he has one too? Yeah. In fact, all of the vassals you've seen so far have the same strap, for lack of a better word. A flexible, almost cloth-like material, but not exactly like that. And then, uh, like, a little um, uh, indicating gem or, or, or just just some sort of, like, a locket, almost. May I see your pendant? Make sure you clean under these regularly. They get a little dirty. I want to move it to see if I can see some yeah. kind of scar. Uh, as soon as you start to put your fingers underneath it, he pulls away. Oh. Did I get any kind of glimpse of like an edge of a scar or anything? What are you doing? I'm curious what is underneath the gem. My neck? Do you have a scar there? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, he asks, because our friends that we knew that taught us your language had scars on their necks. Giant scars, like from here. And a bit of a star pattern. You realize that if he had a scar, the pendant would cover it. It it would have been just the right size. I am not sure what you mean, but... Perhaps you have been touched a little bit by the madness. Okay, buddy. Let us bathe. Oh, yeah, we will bathe. Thank you very much. Please enjoy Friend. your shower. Thank you. Uh, if you need more food, there is plenty. If you need really anything at all, that's why I'm here. Oh, make we'll sure t- that you're protected from yourselves and from the ogres and that you do a full day's work. And, uh... Bring bring a few more bowls of that stew, perhaps of the size that you gave to uh, uh, Mister Ogris Manny Manny to Manicus, of course. Uh, and if you have, uh, do you all have know what a uh, ancient estuary is? Yeah, uh, just season it how you would. Of course, we we are fine cooks. And he turns and he makes his way down the hall, and you can hear the sound of his feet. Uh, oh, thank in you. This quiet space. Right, thank you, Bacon. And you realize that uh, uh, going to the bath, that there's um, uh, functionality, for lack of a better word, handles and turning them hot water, not not cold water or even like the hot spring, you have the ability to regulate this through a marvel of engineering. 
And it takes a few minutes for all of you to talk through and work out exactly how this works. And there's a division uh, for different stalls that allows you to enjoy uh, some privacy. And for the first time before arriving in Drakkar, before your voyage, before your time in the labor camp in Wuze in that humid, terrible jungle, before your travels, perhaps, who knows how long it's been when you've been truly able to privately submerge yourself in such luxury. And that is where the four of you find yourself. If we wanted to take a break, I think this would be an appropriate I think space. I could use some more coffee. But you will be able to enjoy a moment of privacy together at this place. And that's where we'll take a break. Perfect. You find yourselves now in the bathhouse of the villa of House Blaginius. You are, for the first time, alone and enjoying uh, 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 almost like a, a hot rain. Uh, the perfect temperature. You're able to uh, uh, make it a little hotter if you want to, a little cooler if you want to. And even over the sound of the showering water, you can speak to each other and uh, feel for a moment that after your strange experience in Drakkar, after all of the survival that you've had to c confront, you are able to decompress. It, the, the kind of luxury that you were hoping to enjoy in the hot spring, even in this strange place, this feels like a uh, respite. What happens next? It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to I you. get completely naked and get in the shower. You do that. No, I just start singing Cottontail Joe. Are there individual, like, like a bath I can get in on my own? It's a, like a communal shower. I will immediately, if, if Queenie starts undressing, I'm going to immediately turn my head. There well, is, it's salt, it's right? semi-communal, no, oh, okay. semi -communal, but there are large enough walls that mm. uh, a person would be able to enjoy um, privacy. Uh, uh, privacy. Okay. Like a gym Because of her height, or like you would just bathroom. see the water crack coming down into her style and like two, to uh, like maybe the tops just of the, the top of her head and two ears. And two okay. Right exactly that. right. Um... But there's, is there like a big central bath where we can soak and commune with each other? It's not like a uh, a full bathhouse in that way. Bath. There, there, there isn't one of those like low there's pools no of water oh. like that. I'm this thinking is, of Roman vibes. So yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is, uh, and that's great that you right. that you are. But the um, but you're uh, wrong. But you're <laughs> this this is what more, a gosh <laughs> darn fool. This is more like the gym style stalls that you would have in a high school, the but YMCA. a little bit more luxurious. Oh, the YMCA. Than so I immediately, if I know that Queenie's not going to see me, I immediately I'm an old guy, just a completely butt-ass <laughs> naked, and just walk around, <laughs> just like, you know, just... <laughs> <laughs> Shake her out. Yeah. yeah, let it air out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You and all see I'll this. myself. You look in whatever direction you choose. Uh, <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, DM? <laughs> I don't know. I wanted you to internally make the choices of whether you glance or Can not. We just <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, are you, are you, are you one of those like, <laughs> yeah, are you one of those like eye lockers? Or are you yeah. gonna be like, yeah. or are you gonna, you know, just one of those? Yeah, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not asking. Up. We're skipping that part. You guys are all talking. No, Barnabas walks that. up and puts his leg on the bench right next to us. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing? Uh, yeah. How's oh, everybody that was doing? a good yeah. workout, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, a good stretch <laughs> after playing some racquetball. Uh, after, after playing fetch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was ball. Oh, right. No, after ball. playing a game of oh, ball. Oh, right. Okay. It was ball. <clears throat> uh, I don't look. I don't glance. Mm -hmm. uh, instead, I will bathe myself as well. And I'll probably be like here over the stall. But I'll, I'll uh, not join Queenie, but if there's another link. Like, Partition. As a reminder, um, you all feel uh, perhaps more naked than you might, not just because you are actually getting <coughs> nude and showering yourself and using the amenities here in to, to cologne yourself and to uh, 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 wash yourself with rags or, or, or linens, these sorts of things, but you had to take off not your adventuring gear. You still don't have your tusks, your, your walking stick, you don't have 
Mailing's teapot. You don't have the shell of the sea. You don't have your honey pot at your side. There is a, a missing puzzle piece here that uh, hits you especially strongly when you enter this sauna-like place. I'm gonna do this super quick, but this is eleven twists. Holy shit! Oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. That, that was the math. In. Yeah. Jesus. Well, oh, I just got it. it. Oh! 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 Hold damn it! Oh, damn. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Carnival game. Stop. Guy. No, come <laughs> on. Carnival game. Carnival game. Oh! oh, oh. oh. Instead of getting like 55 uh, tickets, you get it. three. Because uh, yeah, yeah, you missed yeah, yeah. a single mistake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah you're, you're adjusting the temperature of the yeah. of the water, and you accidentally slip a little too, and it like scalds you for a moment. Yeah. And you're oh, like, yeah. oh. Oh. Isn't it funny that no matter how smart you are, you can never figure out somebody else's shower? <laughs> <laughs> how do you Wait, why don't they mark it? It goes around in a full circle. It's like, oh, it's cold. Oh, no, it's hot. Okay. It was to go back. Oh, it's hot. Oh, no, it's cold. How <laughs> the fuck does this work? Yours is a circle. My levers pull directly towards <laughs> me. And there are three of them. Oh, you have no idea. Uh, yeah, uh, and it's fresh water. It is fresh water. You do notice that it is. Uh, uh, it is indeed. It is, it is, it is tasteful, um, meaning that uh, it doesn't taste uh, bitter or um, uh, algae-like or anything like that. This is mineral-esque, uh, very, very uh, nice. And when it hits you, you in the face, as it washes off your body, it's not hard water. It's soft, terrific water. Really, really warm. Great. Oh, this is pretty terrific water, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I love terrific water. You know, you know. <sighs> Oh. Oh, there's a little shrimp. Save that for later. <laughs> you know, I heard tales that there was a a small island in the Delphinus chain where there were cyclopes that would all eat this pink lily, and it was a paradise. But anyone that would be welcomed into their community would lose years at a time. It's like a terrible, horrible mind cult. Wait, what was the name of that silver ship called? Oh, the Andromeda? The Dominant Mind? Dominant Mind, Oh, yes. that was it. That was Wait, that's it. not ominous at all, is it? Well, I mean, do you think that that is referencing something? Well, you don't know. Something is obviously not right here with their minds. Mania seems to favor intellect. Maybe he just thinks that the mind is dominant. Maybe that's the their belief. That's their understanding. Is that over physicality, the mind is is important beyond all else. That checks. And there's a silver ship. I mean, I've heard of a silver ship, and it's more of a metaphorical thing. Could be a sort of bridge that they take to over ogre heaven it appears is like a silver light how did what when uh no, it's like the green light perhaps when secundus appeared to us what did how did he come down he was he on a horse descend? but didn't he descend no he was just on a hill he just showed up yeah, somewhere he was just yeah. descended the hills for sort of those yeah on, on a on a silver horse oh. or was it more of like a brassy it's just like a robot horse. It's like a metal uh, yeah, a, a what? Yeah. A robot. Yeah. I, I know I knew a Robert once, but his, not a... No, it's a word than giant. Oh, uh, right. right. His metal steed. <laughs> atop, his, atop his metal steed. Hmm. I think we need to meet this person that cleanses... Oh, I think we need all of our alibis ironclad. <clears throat> you hear a few footsteps. <gasps> Barnabas. Hey, is that you? Uh, a, a, a vassal you've not yet met uh, uh, walks up to the division, uh, this uh, 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 almost like concrete barrier uh, between you and the exterior where you can see through an entryway that would lead to the Ah, hallway. my stew! And two bowls are slid up by hands. Oh, wait, you can come around. I ain't gonna bite. And then you see uh, the back of a head, a female head, turn and... and ah, 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 ah. Oh, get out of here! Ah. <laughs> and they're gone. But you have uh, next to your shower... Why are they sending young ladies in the men's room? This, this is, not, is the not the men's room. Thank you. 
Well, it's, imp- <laughs> it's impropriety, is what I'm saying. I, I'm in this room currently. I, I mean, you're queenie, though. You know, you're you know, you're kind of like one of the guys. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna keep washing under my breasts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's a little fur. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's kind of like, you know, guy's night. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, I think the queenie could hang on a guy's night. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. I've hung on uh, many a guy's night. I think that we need our ogre souls. We need to remember our ogre souls quite well so we can be convincing. Should I be soulful as the reborn? Or is that too much? Oh, you think that's a little much? Then won't they say, oh, of course, you're great tenants. Tell us all about what we I worship. I remember. Or at least can I be some no, kind of ogre king? Well, you can be a king. We perhaps a... you were all my Well, wait, what, do you get to choose? Haven't you just remembered it? What? How, what why are you talking about choosing <laughs> your... Don't, or don't you just remember it? <laughs> don't you just be an ogre soul in your body? Daishan, I, I think... What? I would say that you've been in the hot water a little too long, but maybe you've been in the cold for too long. Are dragons warm blooded? That's it. Uh, I think so. Uh, that I might. I technically. Damn it, Barnabas! I'm not a scientist. I'm a, I'm a sorcerer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you f- fucking meta ma- fucking meta magic! How does it work? <laughs> <laughs> Twin? What? <laughs> and even uh, then, then I then choose some name for me. I I, I came up with two really great yeah. personas. I mean, I've dealt mostly with. I mean, obviously, there's Fiona All Star. <laughs> oh, is that my new last name? Oh, I mean, I feel like it's a quite a, uh, a queenly name. Fits. Yeah, I like it. Perhaps you can your your whole theme can be celestial of sorts. Hey, now I'm an all star. Hi, right, get your yeah. game on, go play. Sounds great to me. I will think on it. What name did you choose for yourself, uh, Barnabas? I am uh, Troth. Uh, Trothak. Let me let me just double check to make sure I get it right. <laughs> Uh, I think it was Trothak, but hold on. Trothak, yeah, Trothak, uh, the shark puncher. Trothak, shark puncher. And for you, Taishan? Shagoth of the Black Rock. Shagoth. Leader of the dragon ogres. Black Rock? Brewer of the finest. Oh, I should probably be the leader of the sea ogres then. I think that makes sense. I should probably be leader of the land ogres. The swamp ogres. Oh, swamp ogres. Oh, star ogres. If you're if you're all star, are there space I, ogres? No, I'm feeling I should be the leader of the swamp ogres. Barnabas, you're near. You're near. What, what determination have ogres. you come to? Uh, the, you don't have to, obviously, right now, because you haven't, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, you're, you're Golcho! <laughs> Good old Golcho. No, that is horrible. <laughs> Good old Golcho. Uh, <laughs> Golcho Marks. <laughs> I will be Jotnar. Mm, Jotnar. Jotnar, yes. King of the Frost Ogres. Ooh. Nice. I love the Frost Ogres. They're great. Okay. Um, you guys are chatting and you are uh, given a limited amount of time. And it isn't until you really finish your stew and feel like you are spent with the shower. Like it, it, it's to the point where you're pruning that you turn things off, towel yourselves, re adorn your uh, robes, and find yourselves uh, confronted by bacon. Who is has been standing, <laughs> standing outside that the door? Was just silly. Uh, Can we quote that? <laughs> you find yourself confronted by <laughs> bacon. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want to be confronted by bacon a little bit? Uh, he's standing there, and he has a tray out. <clears throat> he can't gesture to you, but he pushes it forward, 
And you can see that on this tray, there are a variety of small, uh, what look like perfume or cologne spritzes, bottles, uh, that you can choose for yourself. They've, uh, some of them are in crystal, others in uh, uh, small ceramic spaces. Uh, they've got little uh, puffer devices that allow you to uh, spritz yourself. And, uh, he's gesturing, sort of smiling, looking at you expectantly like, this is the last step so that you can um, Stop being dirty be appropriate. Mm. I'll take one. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the scents? Uh, players... You came up with 40 names for ogres, so I'm assuming <laughs> you have scents for each of these perfume bottles. This is uh, Mary Bell. One moment, one moment. This uh, is Salvage. There are eight available uh, colognes. Anyone can decide on what is available, but up to four only. Oh. Ugh. Dewdrop Starshine? Why does it smell like <laughs> cotton candy? <laughs> <laughs> There's a cotton candy one, for sure. Mm. What do I do with these? You just spritz the ball at the end. And I'll take the swamp moss you in and a elderberry. You scent. find that. This one says Odinism. <laughs> <laughs> I think it says Odinism. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty fucking funny. That's really fucking funny. That's really. That's I, actually, I actually, I actually think that's fun. I'm, that's a good enough pun. You get an inspiration. <gasps> it was nose the thought of it. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Oh, oh, you lost your own. Oh, you lost it. You lost it. it. Oh, it packs on plug nose. You get a whole Sorry. calzone. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Nose, you get shat inspiration, which is so much more valuable. I just thought of that. It's fine. You. Are watching the rest. It's it's obvious that you push the puffer and then you get hit with some sort of a scent thing. Is this? It's something musky. Uh, there's sort of like a leathery thing going on, perhaps a, a, a tobacco almost smell, not in a, an unpleasant ashy way, but um, uh, in a sandalwood like woody way. The sea star sand castle. That sounds about right. <laughs> Do I even know what a sea star is? Where do they get this? I guess I've plundered. <laughs> he sets the tray down. Um, tomorrow, first thing, the uh, gentleman from House of Religion will be here, the governor. Uh, we'll need to be on our best behavior. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing that they will still want to go through with the process of removing your curses for whatever reason. And who, who removes the curses? The governor of the House of Religion, his name is Octavio Scrollacero. <coughs> Octavio Scrollacero. And he will, uh, 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 I believe, read from some paper. And uh, it shouldn't be painful. It shouldn't be anything, really. It should be if you are ogre souls, you should be safe and fine. Well, good. In the meantime, I have to treat you as though you are one of the families, like myself. What kind of work can you do that we can make sure is something that adds value to the house? What kind of work would break the back of even the strongest ogres here? Hard labor? Aye. Hmm. I'll put these lads to shame. Cleaning, working the farm. Uh, 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 farm. But butchery. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> there, there are sewers that need... Uh, I, I'm, I'm mighty fine at butchering. I could, I could, uh, I'm good with a cleaver. If you, all need, if you need to clean your kills as well. Okay. Okay. Well, I am a cook. If you're, if you have need in the kitchen, that's perhaps my best skill set. Butchery and cooking, very good, very good. Oh, yeah. I, I'll keep you on butchery for now. We'll see how you do. That's fine. Uh, uh, Fiona. Yeah. How can you contribute to the house? Well, I know how to change a nappy. So if there are any babies about, I can do that. If you want to give me my bow and my arrows back, I can hunt game for food. 
Um, other than that, I can tell stories. So uh, I, don't, I guess really I would function as a glorified <clears throat> ogre babysitter. Well, there are the two young daughters. Yeah, I can hang out with them. Babysitting. Very brave. Uh, I can't recall your name. I'm sorry. It is fine. <laughs> if you need healing of any kind, I could heal. If you need help with livestock, if you need help with crops, if you need help with anything related to the land, I can probably assist. There's farming. There's, uh, of course, uh, the the very important work in the garden. Uh, we we have many many hedges and topiaries and uh, 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 plants that need tending to. Which one is a more critical? We have good gardeners. Uh, just before uh, uh, winter takes on its fullest uh, breath here in Ogerton, I would ask that you make sure that we've done our work. Farmer. I'll stop. Great Jutnar <clears throat> brings great blessings to crops. <laughs> yes. Uh, Blessing of the frost. Uh, yeah, perha- yeah, a gra- oh. uh, to protect it from the from, oh, from the cold. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. wow. And and we all know that the blessing of the stars, the great fertility goddess, as worshipped by the stars who lived in stars. Well, I think it's more like you know all stars. I'm 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 the princess of the swamp, so I tend to swamp critters. Uh, I say true. <laughs> and you. Shagoth of the Black Rock could brew Shagoth. has has innovated the fire belly brew. I could brew a grog so strong that forget the house. We could spread it to the entire city and if a wayward adventurer had to collect fifteen MacGuffins, the ogres drinking this would be knocked out for at least ten minutes. They'd be able to walk into every hut and go Ah! Well, complete all of the quests. Oh, that's a strong grog. We're not Fire trying to put them out, but uh, we could use a brewer. We have a tremendously sized uh, uh, wine cellar, and if you would be able to maintain it, keep it up to date, uh, that, that that would free up uh, uh, two of my vassals to go do other important work. Not only am I going to keep it up to date. I'll keep it up to date. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) I mean, Ograr. Shagoth! Not only is he going to keep it up to date, he's going to keep it up to snuff. Thank you. Yes. I may even keep it ahead of date. Thank you, Shogoth. Well, you're welcome. Oh, you Shagoth. Yeah, there's nothing. (laughs) Although Shogoth is is public domain. (laughs) We're being a little different here. (laughs) Any goth is fine with me. Uh... He, he, he bows and, and uh, um, he leads you. He leads you not to the quarters of the um, uh, the the hostile like quarters so of true. the vassals. Apparently, guest rooms have been made out for you. A single guest room, surely, but with your linen robes uh, uh, reapplied and uh, your cologne uh, uh, wafting into your own faces, uh, your bells, belly's full, you make your way back up to the second floor and into what are clearly uh, accommodations for guests. And they have made out the bed for you, uh, the four beds that you find in this space. Ogre-sized, all of them. So they would be a luxuriously sized mattresses, even for you, you're near. Uh, you, you could lie out in this space and uh, your head nor your feet would touch the bed frame uh, mm-hmm. in a space this size. <laughs> and left there by uh, one or two other vassals ch- checking in on you, you realize that night has come and it's time for bed. What do you do? Do you all sleep in the same room? Yep. Okay. And there's no one else in the room? Mm-hmm. I hop into bed. It's been quite a while since we've had proper rest. Oh, I know. I'm trying not to get too used to this, but it's getting a little hard not to. I believe we should still keep watch in case someone comes in the middle of the night. I'm a little concerned for Mr. Stavisgotch. Oh, he doesn't like being left alone. He doesn't do well on his oh, own. And as soon as they said that 
We'd have to do work. We don't think he'll make it a single a single day. We will find him, we will find our possessions, and we will get out of here, I have no doubt. Oh, you know Scrim, he's gonna say something like, Well, I'm really good at watching doors. I'll sit here and watch this door for the whole day. No one will come in or out that I haven't seen. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good <laughs> Scrim. He would say, I'll go to the liquor cabinet. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> that is something he would say. Professional yeah. Oh, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's, the, where's the brandy? Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm a jump man. Hey. <laughs> I'm a lonely jump man. Hey. Yeah, or he'll say like, "Don't put me back in the egg." <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yo, there's a big scary dog. Ooh. Yeah, that was. <laughs> oh, you gotta call me pussy cat. Oh, I'm afraid of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not here to defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. He'll be fine. Uh, uh. I can take first watch, and I will wake up. We're gonna have to take watch in this place. I... Oh, Yorn, have you even tried the bed yet? I've stretched so hard. It's like one of those times where your muscles are almost out of your body, and then your soul escapes. It oh. does look very pleasant. I have one suggestion before we go to bed. I have given up the bottle, but I am still a gambling man. <laughs> I say we take bets on what happens to Scrim. My bet is that he will be the pet of one of these uh, high ogre ladies. You th- I exactly think that that's going to happen. <laughs> he will be dressed up for- I Exactly right. He's going to be entered. He, we are going to go to the cat uh, dress up competition and, and Mr. Staff of Scotch is going to be there. <laughs> Oh, looking oh, like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and a little bow. Yeah, that is my bet. Oh. I'll bet uh, oh. 15 doubloons. If that is not what happens, I will be incredibly disappointed. I'm not betting against that. I want that to happen. <laughs> you can add well, to the pot. I will, I'll take that I will bet. bet. What are doubloons? Oh, you go gold pieces. I will bet 15 gold pieces. I'll be with Barnabas. pieces. Not that he ends up as a cat, though I would spend the 15 gold pieces to see it myself. <laughs> I think that uh, Scrim uh, bamboozles him uh, and, and ends up uh, organizing the show somehow. That would take, I believe, too much initiative and organization for Scrim to pull off. Well, he'll say that he'll organize it, but no, then... I think he's just going to try and win the prize as a weird green cat. I think he'll say that he'll organize it, but then he'll demand a team of people to help him accomplish it. He'll give them all tasks, all of which will fulfill every possible role. You think a lot and of scrim, don't say, you? Well, he's kind of an our, our idea guy. No, well, he does have good plans. He came up with all the plans. Just because he has a spell called idea does not make him the idea guy. <laughs> Is that true? Is what true? That That's not what it is. Or is it that it doesn't make him the idea guy? Yes, that that doesn't make him the so idea the guy. The reason I'm betting with Barnabas on this one is I think you are partially right. But I think he's going to use being in that competition as a way to escape. Because he's going to have to strut his stuff on a stage more than likely, he can then escape out of the back. That's, that's my thought. With all eyes on him? Well, I'm sure they have a backstage, Taji. That's fair. This is true. Either way, we should get some sleep. I'll take what if one. there's a talent contest for these animals? Why does it matter? I'm just wondering what Scrim's talent would be. I mean, can't he, like, flip a coin real good? <laughs> He's not winning this contest. Oh, he can do the thing with the knife. Oh, that's so a, can, you imagine, can you imagine? Can you imagine? a green cat wielding that. There were, uh, I, there there were uh, crab knife fights that I used to uh, bet on. <laughs> I've seen those. Yeah, they're yeah. they're real. Crabs are shockingly good with knives. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've seen them wield. <laughs> and they're, I mean, so if it's anything like that, it's gonna get bloody. Oh. Well. If they took all of our stuff, they more than likely took all of Scrim's stuff, which means he won't have his coin. He's not going to have... Oh, you can't get rid of the coin. It'll get back to him. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. And he, can, he can't be separated from his blade either. Oh. He's the most armed of all of us, really. Mm-hmm. Why is he always missing when we need him? 
Let us get some sleep. I will take first watch. Do we really need to take first watch? I don't want to do it. I want to sleep all night long. What's the worst that can happen? They've already stolen all of our stuff, kidnapped us, made us take a shower in a room that probably had some kind of camera or something in it. The worst thing that could happen is like an Airbnb. (laughs) 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 An Air (laughs) DMV. Our throats could be caught in the middle of the night. Yeah, but what are we going to do about it? We could be violent. (laughs) (laughs) I'd still have all of my magic. I can turn into a vicious animal and probably slaughter anyone who would try. So why don't you stay up all night and watch us? Because I can't do shit. Well, I just need to get at least six hours of sleep mechanically. I could hop over them ferociously and make rabbit noises. You could wake me you up. You wake us up. But then you're not getting six hours of sleep. Well, if Wait for getting our throats cut, it's better. <laughs> 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 well, we a little tired and didn't get the cut throat this March. <laughs> is what I'll say. <laughs> I'll take whatever right. watch you suggest, All Mr. Right. Ornier. You just tell me what to first, do. Second, third, fourth. I'm just, fourth. can I take first so I can get... First. Thanks. Second, third, fourth. Okay. All right. All right. Good night. See you in the morning. God damn, I'm cranky today. <laughs> I pass out immediately. You all pass out immediately, except for you. Yeah. Sitting and watching, uh, looking out at the stars. Why do they always get erections the moment they fall asleep? It's just <laughs> so weird. <laughs> I don't have any more towels, but I don't have any more towels. <laughs> <laughs> Just all three of them in there, the and the moment they fall asleep, it's like... <laughs> oh, uh, it's late. Outrageous, outrageous. You're thinking about this and other things as... Um, Pondering the questions that need to be answered. I need your near... Taishen and Barnabas to make an intelligence saving throw. Intelligence? <laughs> you say? Wait, Me? so who's making intelligence? The sleepers. Everyone except for you because oh, okay. you're awake. Intelligence. Oh, I forgot it's on my. F- I need to get the Do internet. Do I bother on. twisted? Wait, am I proficient? Oh, actually, I'm going to turn this druid? iPad off. Why can't you get the internet? I don't know. I can twist connect, once. but I'll twist once. I'll twist once as well. I mean, we have we have <coughs> some twists. Yes, we twist. I, I, I don't know. Do you want to chunk two? I'm not proficient. I mean, I, I, I already I did have already did I'm proficient, so I would like to uh, let me. I'd like to burn two, please. Okay, so we'll burn four. I'm using one. Intelligence. Yeah, that's pretty, oh, oh, that's, oh, I thought that was like an eighteen. Oh, so that's that'll be nice a ten. Ten. A ten for me. Well, pull up a little. Uh, 16. 16. Eight. Eight. I said what I said. <laughs> tai Shen. <laughs> yeah, you, your erection explodes. <laughs> uh, tai Shen, you dream. Oh, nice. You are in a library. You wake up to the dream space of many shelves in all directions, not just uh, left, right, uh, uh, forward and backwards, but seemingly spread out in five directions all around you. You can see uh, tome after tome after tome stretching out into almost infinity in all directions and an ambient glow of light seems to be coming from nothingness and everywhere all at once. You look up and you can see a tiny speck because there is floor after 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 floor floor of this giant library space that you suddenly find yourself in. Where does your mind go in this dream, as Taishen? You feel as you make this choice back of your neck this strange sensation as though you're being watched you know you're being watched in this moment and you feel that this is the library of your mind what my 
Tai Shen's mind. You feel if you were to walk it to the first shelf, you could pull it up and there would be your knowledge of tea. You feel like you could walk over to this shelf over here. You could uh, pull a book off the shelf and uh, uh, know what uh, the flavor of a certain food could feel like. Um, library of memories and considerations, feelings, emotions, all the things that make Tai Shen in all directions. But you can stay where you are or you can be compelled to walk down or up any of these strange shelves and look at one book in particular. All that I am collected in vast library. I never I never would have left. You could tell my story in eight books, I would have thought. Collector said. <laughs> Illustrate the Wait, autology. Ah, uh, but someone else here? You glance and you, for just a moment, you feel like you see a figure pass, but perhaps a trick of the light. Am I drawn? I'm drawn to a specific book? You may choose whatever book that you want to choose, or you may choose no book at all. As Tai Shen, you have full agency in this moment, and you know that you are being watched. <clears throat> um, I would like to, if, if uh, unless I think that every book in here is just about me and my past history. I would like to see if anything, uh, like look for a book that might showcase to me uh, a journey forward or help me, any, anything that would help me learn, um, expand upon myself or learn uh, uh, learn the, the lessons of a man. Make an investigation check at advantage. Fifteen? Fifteen. Feeling this inspiration, this idea, you start to walk down a specific hallway. It's like you know which hallway to go down, you know which book you're looking for, and you uh, reach up and you pull a book off the shelf and you flip through its pages. You see the information there and memories, the past, the present, how you're feeling now, and it's also what you've experienced, but this is not... Uh, what you're looking for. You put it back and you continue to make your way down. Uh, 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 looking down at, uh, uh, oh, uh, the bottom shelf. Of course, of course, of course. You pull a tome out and you start to flip uh, your pages. You flip. Uh, 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 there seems to be some notion of curiosity. This isn't a memory. This is uh, something about who you are. This is this is your curiosity almost. This is a tome that is an expression of your uh, excitement to learn about the world even. And it's in this moment that you have this terrible sensation. This draining feeling. And you feel like the pages are falling away from you the words on the pages themselves are starting to disappear to be to, to, to melt away almost and before you can decide what is exactly happening to you you feel tremendous pain about it it stings it hurts it hurts uh, your mind it's almost like psychic damage you have like a headache you have a concussion you're exploding and you wake up in a scream <laughs> Everyone here, all of you, including uh, Yornir and uh, Barnabos, you wake up hearing Tai Shen uh, 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 burst free from this nightmare. Hey! And I'll reach for my anchor, which it obviously isn't there. Are you okay, Tai Shi, honey? Are you having a nightmare over there? Oh, I, I don't know. I, uh, oh, oh, my head. What happened? Oh, You clearly I'm... had a nightmare. Can you lower your voice? You don't need to yell. I was dreaming. I was in... A library, a vast library. I, I never, I, I've never encountered something like it. Something I've only heard in 
in stories, buried in, in far off deserts. I, I, it, but all every book was about me and and what I've been through and potentially I, I came across one that was was about my journey and how I can find the answers I seek and the and the words started to to fall away from me like I almost had them and I almost it was there and then it wasn't and then this this pain and oh can you remember what, what was in that book? I, I started with my own curiosity and then like like when you're in a dream and you you're reading a page but it's not it's not really words it's it's something else and then it just kind of poured away like it's like when you have ADHD and you're trying to read a story and you keep reading the same paragraph over and over again but you're not actually realizing what you're reading yes what i'm asking you is do you still have the memory is it still there in your mind or is it gone Think back of the of what man? of the dream of, of whatever you were looking for in the dream of your journey. Can you think through your journey? Are there any holes missing? Make an intelligence check at advantage. If I'm picking up what the dungeon master is laying down. Dream eater. How much? Thirteen. Thirteen. You think back, uh, and you remember the tomes that you did pull off the shelf, and those words feel clean and clear to you. You feel like you were able to look at them and perceive them in, in, in their entirety. Even the book that melted away, for whatever reason, it, it feels more like the choice of that book was what was melting away, not that the memory was stolen of what you were attempting to achieve when you found that book. No, oh, I, 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 I mean, it's it's fresh from start to finish. I'm in the library. I'm going through. I grab a book. And I grab the next, and I can I can almost see the words. I but I, they didn't. I didn't get through them originally, and then, but why that book? I don't. It felt it felt clear in the moment that I wanted that one. That was the right one, and now. I don't know. It feels like it could have been any book. Like it's it irrelevant. I don't know, but perhaps it I was see it clearly. Just a bad dream. It's my, it's my head sore. Wait, the pain stopped as abruptly as your awakening. Oh. Well, perhaps it was a bad dream. I have nightmares all the time. Yes, They're not. It's not real. It's, it's new for me, but I don't know. I guess we've been through so much. Maybe, maybe as I slept. You're only just seeing the real world, Taisha. Your valley of the setting sun and Jade Shell Village was not how the rest of Avantress works. You just need to process that. That must be it. And with these calming words, it maybe a little more conversation occurs. You eventually find yourselves back to calmness. Taishan, it takes a little more time for you to get to sleep. But you do, and Queenie, you continue to enjoy your first watch. I need either of you to make an intelligence saving throw. Both of you. Four. Wow. Oh, it's a seven. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Higher than him. Barnabas. Yep. yep. You find yourself in a library. You're looking up many shelves all in directions five paths to go down and 
an infinity in all directions, tome after tome after tome after tome, and it feels like you. It feels not just like you, but like there is another. You feel as though you are being observed in this space and that it is waiting for you to make a choice to find whatever it is that you want to look for. Where does your mind go, Barnabas, as you consider what Tai Shen told you after his awakening and as you consider all of the things that make Barnabas Barnabas? Um, I think if this, I think that Barnum, but that I wouldn't care necessarily about feeling watched. As I look around, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the look now. I'm into that, at least. Uh, no I would, when it comes to memories and dreams, I would want to go to the deepest darkest, heavily guarded and locked away parts of my memory that would have been suppressed, perhaps, except when I dream. And that's where I would head. And you make an active choice to go to the dark place. You walk up to one of, you know exactly which of these five paths to choose. You turn and you walk. And you walk and you walk and you walk. You know it's a far distance down this particular hall, past many tomes, tomes that if you open them might make you smile or be a memory of a recipe, the taste of ancient estuary. And then you turn and you stare at one particular section. Ah, pulling one of the tomes, it slides out of view and pulls away and you see that there's a dark, deep staircase. Deep into the... I'll head, perhaps like a sunken ship or something. I would just go down those stairs. The walls if, are sweating with yeah. seawater, and you make your way down. Click, click, click. You can hear your own feet, and it's in this space that you see the tallest and oldest tomes rotting. Many of them covered in barnacles, soaked as though they had been plunged into the sea. Not once, but not twice, but as though they've spent their entire that they were written, that they were printed there. And you can pull whichever one on off of the shelf that you want to pull off. I would look for a tome that would perhaps just have a symbol of a wooden carving of a sperm whale with sorts of tribal designs in them, which would have was is a position that has been taken from me. And it seems to be like a wooden flask of some kind or a wooden vessel of some kind. And it would be on a tome that, that would have that symbol on it. Opening the pages, you flip that, that open, seeing the symbols there, seeing such recognizable features. And it's like the tome is upside down. You turn it and flip it and you pull it the other direction and it's not front to back, it's back to front it's upside down, the words themselves seem to be right to left instead of up and down you are, are confused, you look and you feel this piercing sensation just behind your neck you scream out and all of a sudden you wake and the, the three of you all ah! another nightmare Barnabas, are you okay? Tatashi psych you out. What did you dream? Lower your voice, your near. It's just a I, nightmare. I dreamed that I was in the sunken libraries of the great sea kings of old. You dreamed of a library too. I sunken and lost, but not to me. I went into the dark place, the abyss, to look for something I, I, I can't recall now what it was. And I felt the pain back of my neck. 
like a stinging sea creature like that that invisible monstrosity that was stowed away on the more abound I don't believe this is coincidence almost the same thing happened to me I mean, that makes sense. You told him about your dream, and he was thinking about it as he was falling asleep. Like, that happens all the time. May I inspect you both? Of course. Of course, Mr. Yornir. You don't have to ask that. You're a medicine man. Uh, first, I'm going to go to uh, Barnabas and check the back of his neck. Sure. Um, you don't have to roll. Uh, it's evidently clear that he is... Uh, uh, quite clean back there, cleaner than you've ever seen, uninjured. Uh, I want to sort of like grab his head and kind of look at his look into I'll his pull eyes. Pull up my green hair. You pull up the green hair. You look even in the sides of the, the back gills. Of, the, of the the gills and the peel back my and gills. the beard. Uh, you <laughs> examine. Uh, uh, aside from the fact that there is the bla- the band of the pendant around his neck, um, there is no uh, unusual uh, mark, even uh, no. No, nothing that, that you can say. And do his eyes look normal? Everything looks healthy and fine? Yeah. I, if I thought that you could fail at this, you would make a medicine okay. check. I'll inspect Taishan to do the same, and presumably you feel the, the same. same. Result. You seem fine. On the outside, at least. I wish I had my flask. I would consult the runes, but I do not have them on me. This it's not strange. We've had shared dreams or experiences at night before. With first the lights and the passage of time, it's not it's not something that hasn't happened to us. It is just suspicious that this civilization is obsessed with knowledge and with our memories and our experiences, and then all of a sudden we are dreaming the same thing about our memories and experiences. Perhaps it is coincidence or influence, but they are presumably very magical, at least their artifacts are. It's concerning. Wow. Well, that's two of us now. Do we say? Go ahead. Well, do we think if if do we see if we go to sleep? If you have the same dream, do we try perhaps, and stay awake? Perhaps, Queenie, why don't I take my watch now? Yeah, sure. If you want, I'm and tired. Tuck it out. Three of you get some sleep. All right. All right. I'll take fourth watch. Four is more lucky than three. And I can... uh, I'm used to getting up to cook breakfast, but I guess... We'll be served breakfast. Good night. Good night. Right, good night. Good night. Good night. I wish I had my flask. Once I feel like they've all fallen asleep... Uh, my right eye will glow blue, the and runes. I will uh, try to peer into the weird and detect magic. Um, mm-hmm. When I get a sense of like, okay, they're asleep, I just want to see if there's anything fucky going on magically while they're asleep. You look around, and aside from that same background <clears throat> magic of your allies, the night is dead. You go to sleep, uh, and you both also go to sleep. You make mm-hmm. all three of you make an intelligent saving throw. Both of you automatically succeed. It's just you. Oh, I fail. Queenie, you're dreaming one of your typical, usual dreams when suddenly you are snapped into a library, and oh, you, you come back here, you little varmint. Become immediately aware of your elusive 
aware of your surroundings, aware of the conversation that you just had. Uh, how much time have you spent in the dream space doesn't seem to matter, but you recognize the shelves described by Taishan and Barnabas. You recognize, oh yes, you feel that same feeling as though you could turn your head this way and whatever is watching you would be here. And if you turned yourself this way, it would move just behind your sight. And you see the shelves and the tomes all in all directions. And you have a choice. Where does Queenie's mind go in this space? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I could just sit down and say I'm not playing your game, you weird little voyeurist. Or I could play your game and prove that ogre I ain't so stupid now, am I? And I want to go find a... I want to try and find the memory of when I learned how to tie my shoes. It's a few floors up. You find the spiral staircase. You make your way up. And, uh... Sure enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Childhood memories, childhood memories. I, oh, holding a spoon like this and not like this. You you find the tome and you pull it open and uh, you recognize what's on the page. For just a brief moment, you see uh, uh, bunny ears and and uh, you can see uh, 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 the, the the cord being pulled. And there's a, a moment where you actually feel like I'm 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 looking at this information. I can perceive that idea on this page when you are struck by a terrible pain and you wake up screaming ow fuck ow fuck 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 ow (sighs) hi good morning do you notice anything mr yornier Oh, thanks. Queenie, how are you doing? That sounded painful. Queenie, did you have a nightmare? Are you okay, honey? Was that scary? No. Yornir, did you see anything? You dreamed of a library. You picked the book off a shelf. Mm Mm-hmm. You read it. You felt a horrible pain in the back of your neck. And how are you feeling, Queenie? Was it scary? Do you want to talk about it? I will not sleep tonight. The rest of you can continue to sleep. Mm. Well, I want to try something, all right? All right. And I want to attempt to tie my shoes. I want to go grab my shoes, slide them on, and attempt to lace them up. Well, the funny mm-hmm. thing is there are no shoelaces in Avantress, so... Yes. Um, can in with that. Uh, you, you <laughs> run, yeah, you, the, the, the universe is ruined. I we, had, yeah, we, had, we had a good run. Yeah. We had a good run for five years, yeah. but uh, now sorry. we're going to have to start something else. We're quitting. Yep, yeah, it's yeah. over. Yep, uh, on to the hot tub stream. Shit. I'd do it. Fine. Fuck. <laughs> I'd do it. You reach over to the shoes, and sure enough, there are laces there, and you are able to complete the knot. Okay, so... Do you want to hear what I have to say or don't you? I would love Mr. to. Mr. I refuse to dream. We're listening. Thanks. Continue. So I had a dream. But thanks to our good friends experiencing uh, the woes of this library before I had, I went in with a little more information. And so I got in and I knew immediately I could find what I wanted. I wanted to know if this place was going to destroy my memories. So I thought, what memory could I lose but also regain at a future date. Well, learning how to tie my shoes, it took my ma like almost a month and a half to teach me how to tie my my shoes because she kept talking about bunny ears and I kept laughing. (laughs) So anyway, I went to this book, I found it, the same thing happened, but lo and behold, Queenie March still knows how to tie her shoes. So these dreams mean nothing? Nothing's happening? We're not losing oh. memories? We're just... I don't know if that's the case. I'm going to have to experiment a little bit more. I mean, maybe the first time you read about a memory, it doesn't fade from you completely. Maybe it's going to take a couple more goes. I'm not quite sure. I don't know what memory it was after. 
I didn't feel like it was after anything. I felt like I had control. That I got to choose what memory I wanted. Perhaps that was your way of giving them access to your dreams and memories. I do not know. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I still know how to tie my shoes. I have a confession to make. Oh, God. I never learned how to tie my shoes. Do shoes fit you? I'm a master with a rope. You don't even wear shoes. And every that's why I don't wear shoes. What what on earth would you wear shoes for underwater? Not even there is slide nothing. I didn't grow up lower, didn't grow up, but once I came on land, everyone's like, Oh you, I gr- didn't grow up on land. Oh yeah, I know. But once that's I came saying. to the surface, everyone's saying, Oh, you should wear boots and I'm like, I they're uncomfortable. They would be. And you still go back in the water all the time. There is nothing worse than a waterlogged shoe. I can tie dozens of sailors' knots. And every time I tried to put on a boot, I would just fumble. Do you want to learn how to tie shoes? I would. You know what? One of these days I'll it's teach you. It's the last knot I've yet to learn. I'll teach you how to do it. I'll the teach elusive, you the tale of the money years. The elusive shoe. Uh, I like now, that, Miss yeah, March. I got you. I got you, Barnabas. I like that, Miss March. I will make sure one of these days you don't have to wear boots. But if you wanted to... Nothing's going to stop you. I think it's because the cord, the threads are so... i got big sausagey fingers. We should get you larger and threads. And maybe, you know, I, I can tie ship's ropes and cords. I don't, I don't know who told you that shoelaces had to be one size. They are not one size fits all. If you need thicker cords, we'll get you thicker cords. All right, maybe that's the trick. Did you both feel as though you had the option to not pick a book? Oh, well, I considered just sitting on the floor, but then I had this idea where I could find out if I'm going to lose my memory, so I chose that. But Yornir, if he wants to go to sleep, could just see if he could not pick a book and see what happens. Well, maybe if we Unless you're like... scared, of course. Did you feel watched as well? Oh, yeah, for sure. Maybe if we feel as though it's it's searching for something, whatever it is, if there is anything at all... Maybe we can fall asleep without an issue if we just decide to not explore our memories. I could mutate my hands into spindly fingers of some kind. It might be easier to tie them then. What? Like crab legs? Like not crab claws, but I, I, no, I like the f- legs. Uh, like the spindle. Like those usually leg sprout out other. of my back. Oh. <laughs> make, uh, make, make, make uh, crab legs shoot out from my back. And, I'm <laughs> picturing them like face hugging the mattress. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's disgusting. That will never stop being horrific. Um, You're in here. What do you do? I mean, I, I could try it, but I'm worried that I might be compelled in my dreams to do. To, the, to choose a book. All right, so why don't you pick a memory that would not be terrible if someone were to experience it with you? I'm wondering if this is just the gateway. As soon as we choose one book, they're into everything. They have access to our entire minds. Well, it's possible. I... But it's not like you can't... Like you can keep yourself from sleeping forever. If anyone has a steel mind, Mr. Yornir, of all of us, it's you. Perhaps the weird or the triad or whatever, the land itself will shield your library as it did in ours. The sunken halls of the great sea kings. You're right, we have no idea how long we'll be here, and trying to do this without any sleep will be challenge. Hey. I will try your idea, Queenie. Just have a memory. Stay awake when I inevitably wake up and I scream shortly. Oh, you, okay, sure. Yeah, I'll take another watch. I'm not well, tired. Well, I mean, you could all, you're all going to be woken up by my scream anyway, so. Yeah, but it took like at least a good hour before y'all woke up. It's fine. I don't want to sleep tonight oh, all anyway. Alright, well then get some sleep and then I'll wake you up with a horrible scream. Sure. I've got last watch. Yeah, why don't you stay up? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Before we go to sleep, 
who thinks that he's going to scream really softly? And it's just going to be like a, ah. Eh. It's going to be, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that sounds accurate. Oh. Good night. <laughs> And I'll do my best knowing what will inevitably happen trying to go to sleep. That takes some time, actually. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's not it's not an easy thing to just yeah. be like, okay. <laughs> it's like goes. going to sleep on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's impossible. Yeah. But oh, instead of God. presents, it's nightmares. <laughs> and uh, eventually, you find yourself in a dream space. And you recognize this library as the library of your own mind. You look at the shelves and you realize that you could walk through these halls and pull any tome off of any of these shelves and know what was inside its contents. This is not an experience you've ever had before in all your long life, but it just makes sense because that is the nature of dreams. You have a context and You feel like you're being watched. There's a very strange sensation of something just around the corner, just down the hallway, maybe on the next floor. No, you know you're being observed, but you have a choice. What happens next is up to you. Who goes there? I know you're watching me. I will not make a choice. And I'll sort of like look around, hear no response. I will sit exactly where I am. I'll sit down, I'll cross my legs, and I will just close my eyes and meditate and attempt to not choose and just try to sit there and meditate until I wake up. You sit at the center of this five-spoked library. Mm -hmm. You don't look at the books. You ignore the rest of your mind. You focus on the lucidity of the experience. Stay in the present. Sometimes your mind darts to your feelings about the land, about your companions, your allies. You still feel this pressure, this feeling of being watched. It's not quiet, not totally. But you maintain this concentration and no pain comes. Who's next on watch? Barnabas. Yornia doesn't wake up screaming. Oh, wait, wait, was it Taisha? Who was third? I was fourth. Uh, well, I so was Taishan's fourth awake. Really late, but you yeah, so I, I took it. One, two, three, four. So, so we, we swapped. Yeah. So technically so Taishan, when we go to sleep, Taishan would be awake and then he'd eventually wake me up. So Yornir does not wake up screaming. Whoever wakes him up next for the purposes of the watch is all. That would be me. That would be me. My watch is already passed, though. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, so it would be it would be May. Basically, I will wake everyone up. You shuffle him and Queenie and Taishan up, and you waken. Morning. Uh, having and been successful in your attempt to do nothing. Oh, you really do scream very softly. Oh, I didn't Yeah, scream. you didn't even wake us up. I had the dream. You jumped to the library. Did I? Was it like one of those dreams where you feel like you were awake all night long? Yeah. But I, I felt like I was you sitting felt there like all, all the night time long was, for eight was, hours. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking it, hate it, those. It, yeah. Those are a fucking nightmare. Mm -hmm, and yeah. it's especially bad when like your brain like puts a drill to the uh, speedometer of your mind and is like, you're going to spend a century yep. in this dream. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, but that wasn't how it felt. It okay. felt real time. So you, you, if you were just asleep for six hours, then six hours is what you felt past while you were, and you've meditated for six hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you just sat and quietly contemplated yourself and ignored 
whatever minuscule sounds and minuscule sensations happened around you, you let your mind go where you wanted it to go, but you did not pick up a tone. So did I physically, do I feel like I've slept, I've gotten a long rest? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and anyone else who hasn't been on watch, the, 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 these, these streams would start and stop almost instantaneously. You, you had very little time in that dream space. I would say that you feel, even with these watches and this experience, that in the morning you'll experience a long rest. Queenie, your idea. It, I meditated all night long, and I never felt the pain. I felt watched, but I just ignored it. That I meditated on my goal and my fate, and it never came. Well, that's good to hear. Um, yeah, at least for me, I felt like I had a choice, so I'm glad you did too. So I believe if everyone, if anyone experiences the dream again, do the same. Let it into my deepest and darkest secrets. No, no. Don't do that. <laughs> do the opposite of that. All right. Meditate on the dream. Okay. So what are you going to do if you have the dream again? I'm going to read those books about my childhood traumas that I've stuffed really deep down inside of me. No, no, no. That's not what you should do. I know. I'm fucking with you. All right. Let us do our duties. You uh, still have a little more time before morning, and you spend it either sleeping or talking. Uh, you feel rested, and you do enjoy the benefits of a long rest. And morning comes, but let's take a quick coffee break. Coffee break! Mm -hmm. You find yourself in seeing the sun come up and the, the, the window brightens and the four of you are... Very Gary. Uh, Very Gary. It's, it's right. you know, uh, 6, 6.30 in the morning and uh, you can smell food uh, mm. arrive at the door and a um, nameless uh, vassal uh, walks in. Very briefly, you think that this is the same woman that you recognize. I'll blush very deeply. And uh, it's like a coral pink. <laughs> she, that's pretty fucking. That's good. cute. That's yeah. pretty fucking good. Uh, she walks in and um, she offers you what are clearly four plates of sausage biscuits <gasps> with, oh, with gravy? Great, thick buttery gravy, oh, ready, my ready to sausage fucking go. Gravy? They, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. S smelling delicious. And I'm sorry. Do you have any home fries? Silver Dynamite. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> she she offers she offers you a milkshake with one of those big fucking straws. <laughs> oh. uh, she 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 reaches down and you can all see without perception uh, check required uh, that this woman is extremely pregnant. She is uh, ready to burst, and she uh, she sets down the table, and then she starts to waddle out for uh, whatever else you have requested in this moment. What are you doing? Turning the music down for them. Oh, sorry. I'll I'll do this. Uh, thank you very much. This is smells unbelievably delicious. It's my pleasure. I uh, it's nice to meet you. Would you like to take some for yourself and your little one now since you're eating for two? I've already eaten. I'm I'm fine. You sure? Oh yes, I okay. I've, I've had the same as as you. Oh. This is this oh, is so you're what not we're all eating. That we know how to talk to you. Uh, uh no no uh. uh Bacon uh, uh, told us the whole the whole deal that you you are, are split between worlds. We oh, don't know yeah. what to make of you, but uh, ogres of, uh, of of the dire mall, the dire, dire mall heroes, high mall, oh. high mall oh, heroes, yeah. ogres of the high mall. Oh, high, yeah. mall high, high mall, so, yeah. I forgot about that. There's it, a lot of malls. It has to have the H. Makes oh, sense. you're right. Yeah. My name my name is, and it takes heroes you a mall. while for her. Like she basically has to like spell out the vowels charade style before you arrive at Fraldina. That was a long one, but it was worth it. I don't think you can get that. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> she seems like, hour, like exhausted and frustrated, yeah. like rhymes Bro. with fall. Well, we're gonna eat our biscuits now. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye for old Nina. Uh, she makes her way out, and you are are left in the room for just a moment before Bacon shows back up. Um, we uh, uh, are going to be receiving the. Uh, 
governor of religion, Octavio Scarlicero, soon. Uh, we're going to need to make our way to the front of the house, and then we will perform the ritual in the court ra- courtyard. I am so surprised it did not take as long for you to tell us his name was Octorio Scarlicero. Uh, Octavio? Yes. Yeah. Scro- Scro- Scarlicero. Yeah, all right. Octavio Scarlicero. How did you just spell that? You're getting very good at reading hand code. <laughs> and in fact, I will add, if you want to add to your language on D&D oh. Beyond. Oh, yeah. ASL? O- Ogerton? No, oh. this is not ASL. We are oh, way, way off. Sign language? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ogerton hand code. You may do that. Oh. I am going to do that. Because he, I feel... But not right. Uh, right. Understand, but not speak. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And yes, uh, for your the viewers at home, this is not American Sign Language. I am not trying to do that. This is what they have created as their own language for the purposes of understanding each other as vassals within this strange community. Proud to that. As I was meditating during my dream, I was implanting my idea in my brain by the gods, the triad. We've not tried to remove this. Is she gone? You're by yourself. You're enjoying Sasha's biscuit gravy. Uh, <laughs> we've not tried to remove these... It's delicious. Necklaces. Oh. I would like to maybe inspect one of yours and try to remove it and see if there's a scar underneath. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and play with oh. my neck. You reach right down there. and you... It is impossible to get a finger underneath this <gasps> band. It is physically firm. It seems to even like tense when you attempt to try whatever. Like whatever I try. You try. It never comes to an uncomfortable place for you. It is not choking. Uh, it, it, the sensation of having something around your neck only affected you when you first woke up in the room for but a moment. But now it just feels like part of you. And you are not able to pull the pendant aside or move it in any direction. It is affixed as if it were it, it like, oh, can I see what's underneath your nose? Can I see what's underneath your ear? <gasps> uh, uh, this is affixed. I cannot move it. And I'll test it on mine, and presumably they're all the same. Uh, well, that's not ominous. And you pull you pull out your own, and uh, it would be like trying to remove your own finger. I heard that oh. pop. Oh. oh, this is surprisingly unpopular. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually I'm usually so poppy. This is this is weird. Oh, when popular. I wake up in the morning, I sound like a forest uh, tree falling over in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> It's the end of the night. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, well, we need to be ready for a potential Yay. encounter with this governor. Religious type. Do we have our uh, perhaps reincarnated demigods from a different, you know, a different era of ogres? Yotnar of the Frost Trolls. Frost. Oh. Frost Ogres. We have uh, right, a Shagoff of the Black Rock. Of the Black Rock. Uh, and then I'm Tr- uh, Trothak of the Shark Punchers. <laughs> and then uh, we have uh, Fiona, Fiona of the All-Star. of the All Stars. Yotnar of the. You need something. Frost Ogres or the the Fjord Clan. The Frost Guard. Frost, Frost, Frost guard yeah, Frost Guard's really nice. Frost Guard. Yeah. All right. And to Why briefly, to briefly answer plan? chat, no, uh, Queenie was not able to get hers off at any point. None of them have yet, nor have they removed them or attempted to do so before now. What were you going to say? Um... Oh, I think they were asking, wait, Daisy got hers off, though, right? Because Daisy wasn't wearing one when we That's saw her. That's correct. That's correct. My Mylan, apologies. Mylan, yes. Mylan, Mylan did Daisy, something. Daisy did not have one when you uh, encountered Neither her. Neither did Honey. That's right. So, Mylan yeah, knows I mean, the secret. Mylan did something. Yeah. 100%. Um, I, I just want to say, I don't appreciate that you all sound really badass, and I sound like I am the mom coach of a child soccer team. Oh, well, didn't you pick something else? I mean, I'm the shark puncher. It's kind of... I'm the one that started it. I didn't know we were going to be like cool badasses. I thought a princess was neat. A Fiona of the All-Stars is quite cool. You're all stars. Maybe it's a famous. You're a famous uh, bards, perhaps. Or like you're a celestial. Oh, princess. if you want something a bit yeah, about, about harder, 
Uh, perhaps, uh, Fiona the Smash Mouth. Actually, I really like that one. <laughs> so I think I think that's the way to go. That sounds way cooler. That sounds more Swamp Troll. It really of the, does. Of the, of, the, yeah. of the Smash Mouth. You uh, smash the mouth. Of the Smash yeah. Mouth. Yeah. And I'm exactly Shark Punch. Right. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. Roger that. Thank you. That is way better Or no, than perhaps just Fiona Smash, Smash Mouth. Mouth. Yeah. That sounds, because you're, yes. A Princess Fiona Smash Mouth. figure appears at the door, and you recognize this to be Manius himself, Bloglinius standing in front of you, and he, uh, Hello there, yes, uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. How, how, how was uh, my four new vassals? Uh, how, how was your sleep? How was everything? How was the food? How, how are you doing? We slept quite well. Uh, we've been slowly regaining our the, the memories from our past lives, and uh, although our grasp on our, uh, our true tongue has not returned quite as much as Jotnar here, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, Jotnar of the Frost Guard... Uh, but I believe that it will return. I've gotten uh, glimpses uh, of my past life. Straight. Interesting. And my Interesting. great voyages. Well, I have my uh, my tablet here, and I have uh, uh, the four of you. Uh, I understand that we uh, are to expect uh, the house, the governor of religion, uh, to be here in just uh, another 20 minutes. So we are to make our way to the front of the house and receive him. Let us go. You Governor know. Scoliosis? No, uh, Scrolicero. Oh, Scro- psoriasis. No, oh. Scro- sc- Scrolicero. Scro- Scrolicero. So, like, a scroll and Cicero. Still perhaps suffering Scrolicero. from the madness. Got it. Hmm. It's here in the vault now, the, st- the treasure chest. Okay. <laughs> right uh, here. He he takes uh, 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 his leave, and, and it's understood that uh, you follow. You you make your way and yep. you walk through the, the 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 hall to the staircase. You make your way to the first floor. You continue all the way down and then eventually out the front. And this is the first time you've actually been out the front of the manor, and you realize it faces Ogerton. Standing here, you are standing at the top of a long, stretching series of he- of hills and, and uh, farmland. Uh, you can see a path that leads straight down and at the very, very distance, uh, perhaps uh, uh, a, a, a two or three hour walk from here, you can see a multitude of structures. A huge variety of of different uh, 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 large uh, large structures, column structures. What appears to be a, a coliseum or a, a hippodrome on one side. Mm. You can see uh, behind this tableau, the mountains spray up in sanity, uh, a, a verticality that you've not yet seen in Drakkar. Like the cliffs of Dover. Uh, like the cliffs of <gasps> Dover. I love Guitar and, Hero. Uh, I love Guitar Hero. Okay, everybody give it up for Guitar Hero. For My game. favorite video game is Slash from Guns N' Roses! <laughs> um... I used to be uh, brief aside, I used to be pretty fucking good at Guitar Hero. So what I'm, with what I'm gonna say. Um... You can see, you can see that, waterfalls. Did we drop acid at some point? <laughs> <laughs> the hell is that? Dover? Your streets behind. I know the cliffs of Dover. Wow. Your streets behind. <laughs> you, uh, you can see that behind where the um, city proper is, you are, you are far away, and that there are other smaller villas on the left and the right, uh, perhaps other wealthier houses in this community of ogres. And you can see a great waterfall just over that seems to stretch down behind the city itself almost. A huge waterfall. And it's confronted with this vision that you can also see a carriage. A carriage being drawn by a single beast. A polar bear, a white furred bear, happily trudging along up the sandy graveled path that leads to the circular opening of this manor. And waiting just five, 10 minutes longer, it comes to a stop. 
right in front of you, and out swings another huge ogre wearing a, a, a very uh, uh, um, minimal, uh, not decorated, but uh, uh, sort of a, a medium gray uh, toga, for lack of a better term. And he walks out, and he's got a white hat, very tall, on his head. He pulls it off, puts it underneath his arm. Hello! It's good to see you. Uh, yes. Pleasure. Uh, pleasure to meet you, uh, Manius. Good to, good, good to be here. I understand that you're supposed to have four new vessels that I'm to decurse. I'm sorry, I'm very tired. I've been already out at the House of Commerce decursing the other two that you brought so surprisingly to our community. Yes, 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 of course, of course, of course. It's a pleasure to see you. And they walk up to each other and uh, uh, immediately uh, start to uh, sort of bow. And you, they, they start to go back and forth in, in these moments while they were privately, uh, not privately, but publicly uh, experiencing this welcome. Do you whisper anything to each other? Do you uh, uh, you have a moment to communicate? Uh, it is the high septum of Goblin Topia. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh, the ogres. <laughs> Is he gonna... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't say that. <clears throat> well, it looks like we lost Scram. May he rest uh, in peace. Stick to your, stick to our stories. Yes. Improvise. Is he, he drunk? Did not attempt to speak giant. No, uh, I don't it know it. And if things turn, we need to fight. Although Forgos did say that his ancestor lay with a storm giant woman, so our line is as big as we are. I never learned how to speak it. Let me introduce you to uh, uh, the, the, the four individuals that you'll be uh, decursing, so to speak. Uh, this is uh, uh, Barnabas, I believe. No, my, I have received. My memories of my past life before I was reincarnated into this form, I am a reincarnated uh, sea ogre, uh, Trothak the Shark Puncher. Mm -hmm. And then this one, uh, this is uh, 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 Queenie, I believe. No, you're wrong. I also have received my memories from Ogre Heaven. I am Fiona of the uh, Smash Mouth. And I am a princess of the Swamp Ogres. Saying these words in this order. Uh, you see, you see, uh, I, uh, I, I told you that they, they, they may very well be uh, uh, not uh, uh, reincarnated vassals, but actual ogre souls. Can you believe it? Yes, yes, uh, and you? Uh, in giant, purely in giant, I'll say, wow, the memories of my mother tongue have come back to me. I am Jotnar of the Frost God, the yes. High King of all the Frost Ogres. It's quite convincing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. Uh, they seem to be, uh, 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 they, they, they know the language, they know the old speak, they know the language of Sophilith. Yes, yes, and you are. I am Shagoth of the Black <laughs> Zone. <laughs> Shagoth <laughs> of the Black Rock. Ogres, and you, I bow, are welcome. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get this over with, I suppose. Let's oh, make our way. Please, is there anything we can do for you? Some wine, perhaps? Some uh, uh, refreshment of any kind? They, they immediately turn and they start to make your way in, and you can see the other vassals, they're all like... None for me, thanks. Uh, no, they seem to be indicating to follow. Follow, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let us go. And you guys uh, walk in and behind you, uh, the rest of the house, all of them are, are, are here except for uh, uh, what appears to be uh, the majority of the um, Bligineus uh, family. And uh, you make your way into the courtyard. The four of you are uh, lined up uh, just in front of the fountain, and uh, there you stand. In this moment, you have a choice. 
receive this decursification, whatever that might look like, whatever uh, Skrillis Row is going to do, or do not that. And he starts to walk forward. No, my dear, you understand, this hasn't been done in perhaps 200 years. Oh, yes, I, yes, yes, yes. What yes. hasn't been done? Oh, no, we haven't found anyone like yourselves. Uh, like but You've already done it on the two companions you found us with. Yes, yes. I, they perhaps have not received their memories. I do not think any sort of curse remains on the souls of reincarnated ogre heroes. The, uh... Uh, the young lady was fine, and the other one was very strange. Very strange. We do not know which which of the ogre souls, perhaps a pantheon of great heroes of eons past. I do not know who they were, I but do. I know I am Trothak, the Shark Puncher. I united my people with the Sahuagin and the Marrow. I rode the Great Mall of Sekoa. I wielded the power of sharks on my fists. This elderly ogre. And with that, I am going to attempt to use my mutation powers. And I will allow you to shut this down. But instead of claws... (laughs) I would hope to have shark heads <laughs> for hands. That might be pushing it. Uh, or, or something that would resemble shark heads. No, I'm uh, going to go with it. Okay. Enjoy. So I will have like a sawfish head. Uh, it's like with like a really razor sharp nose and sharp maw and then a hammer head. So you're, level, like, you're level six now. Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. Run. Let's go. <laughs> and they'll both be like gnashing. Whoa. I told you this place. And then the seawater will splash around me and barnacles and all sorts of sea creatures will grow, uh, almost appear magically. You're lost. Uh, this elderly ogre backs up and, uh, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? And, and Manius is scribbling uh, a description of everything that you've said and, and everything that he is seeing, uh, uh, just watching you in, 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 in chaos. Um, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? He's, he's, uh, they, they, they've got abilities, uh, strange abilities. This is not the madness. This is this is something far different. Well, we'll see. Shark punch. Magic. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we were still yet to learn if anything has affected the small green one. Uh, he was had to put to sleep and before his crucifixion. Oh, uh, put to sleep, you say? Well... We'll see what happens, I agree. Or you were perhaps you made him a grave mistake. Perhaps if he was with us, he was another reincarnated hero. Reborn, perhaps, in the great silver flash, like the falling silver stars of the great ogre heroes of old, the greatest warriors of ogre kind fallen from ogre heaven. I, I, I got all of that. Do you think that it is best that we put them to sleep now as well? No, no, if they're willing, they may enjoy the spell either way. And Shagoth of the Black Rock, I I know comes from the dragon ogres of the great volcanic ranges of his people, the father of the dragon ogres, and he can even breathe flame. Um, Manius is captured by your information and he's 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 writing down every word I'll, I saw as he says it I start plant two feet in the ground pat my uh, thighs look up in the air and just blast dragon fire above me oh you use your dragon breath to create I use my flame. dragon breath to blast dragon's fire and I shout I have a fire in my belly <laughs> uh, hence the fire belly good room. god oh the, 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 the. Thoughtless be praised. Uh, uh, I, they, they, they were not this uppity uh, 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 yesterday. They, they, they seem to be uh, even even more uh, strange and magical, I, I assure you. Well, this will either all be over in a moment, or they are true sons of ogres. I will have to try my magics passed down for generations from Thoughtless himself. Yes, 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 yes. And, and, and you're sure we shouldn't put them to sleep as well? 
It's fine. Uh, who would like to go first? And he looks uh, blearily at the four of you. I'll do it. <laughs> uh, this is Princess Fiona Smash Mouth. Uh, Queenie, Fiona, uh, Queen Queen Fiona? Qu- Qu- yeah, we, we've already determined that I will one day be queen. Uh, yes, uh, uh, she, she, she's... Uh, first choice, and uh, I'm bravest of all swamp ogres. Yeah, Watch fun? as I hop ferociously towards you because rangers suck. Step forward, young <laughs> furry just... lady, <laughs> and he pulls out from his toga a parchment. He unravels it very slowly with his. She needs milk. Are his his withered hands? <laughs> no, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. He looks down at you. This is a short ogre, only because he's so decrepit, and 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 uh, he he opens up a scroll and he starts to read, and it's in giant. You don't understand the words, but you understand it to mean madness out and he <laughs> pulls the script apart and it bursts into arcane magic uh, uh, flittering in all directions and you uh, experience the effects of remove curse Oi, this is Princess Queenie of Princess Fiona actually Princess Fiona of the Swamp Ogres she was betrothed to Glorbo, first of his name, from Goblintopia to unite that the Swamp Kingdoms. That is not true. <laughs> that is, that's not true. You see, you all. see, they, 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 no, we are she, can still, she can still society. speak. <laughs> Look at her appearance. She's not, she, she's not transformed into a human. She's been, uh, <laughs> she, she looks, she looks as, as she was. Oh, yes. It's just this like is, the green this one. This is the form that ogre heaven chose for me to take upon my reincarnation so that we could ferry you with the help of our captain back to over over heaven now that you have fully uh discovered all there is to know about the mortal world uh. <laughs> <laughs> who's next i roy i will be next <laughs> captain <laughs> admiral perhaps yes. trothak shark puncher he pulls out another scroll and he looks at you and he holds out one hand and perceives what is on the scroll and speaks in giant. Madness out! <laughs> and it explodes in energy and you experience remove curse and you do experience a removal of, per- of a curse. <gasps> oh! <gasps> Oh. oh, so suddenly I'm feeling a bit sluggish. Oh, Are you all right? Are you all right? Oh, I just feel like I had a big bowl of ogre stew earlier. You see, you see, oh. you've, you've done something. You look at him. He's he's pale. He's nearly he's nearly passing out. Are you well? It's probably stuff full of sausage gravy. Oh, yeah, sausage. Oh, I, I, I guess my eyes were bigger than my stomach. And just it's all hitting me right now. You know how like biscuits and, and gravy just sit in your gut? Oh, when it dance oh, when it hits? You. Yeah, I think it's That's just more of a delay. That's my favorite part biscuits and gravy. You feel it great. Expands. Every you, time you burp, it's like you're having seconds. You feel like the appetite that you once knew is your own again. You feel like the thing that has been uh, pushing you uh, uh, or uh, driving, driving your appetite on uh, on your back is is lifted for for so long uh, since you've encountered that insane creature on the waters that literally killed you. I feel yeah. like the curse is Wendigone. It's Wendigone. <sighs> it's Wendigone. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I I like I will say we are not cursed. This is the form. This form is suited to do more great things at sea, to captain the silver ship and guide us all back to ogre heaven. You see this? You, and this? punch with sharks, of course. The, the, the punching with sharks, look at his hands. <laughs> I'll do it again. 
<laughs> and uh, you, sir, are you ready to be cursed? Oh, Scrone, Scrone, Lissero. I'll go second. Go through your motions. Just know that we won't hold this against you when we sail aboard the dominant mind together. I should hope not. I'm given a religion. Twinkle in your eye and fire belly brew in your stomach. Madness out! You experience a removed curse. You feel no change. Fucking boat! <laughs> <laughs> and you stand there. Uh, yes, he can still speak. He can still he look, look. Look, he's unchanged. His scaled body. It's un, unreal. This is this is not the madness. Uh, let's make sure for real. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. You there? That forward. Yes. Oh, that is a final scroll. Madness out! And you uh, feel the magical energy wave over you, but uh, there is no removal of curse in this moment. You have not been cursed. And I'm still the Oknar of the Frost Guard, and I will open my mouth and roar. Mm. It sounds exactly like a polar bear territorial... Uh, roar that might scare another polar bear if one was near in the vicinity uh, to back off a little bit and maybe oh. add, add some legitimacy to the roar. Even I like, uh, you, 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 with you would hear <laughs> uh, uh, vassals dealing with that situation if they could speak, uh, scream. And so, uh, <laughs> yeah. so no, this isn't the polar bear heard me. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, you, you, it, it would not be that far. Okay, like absolutely <laughs> a second roaring polar bear, <laughs> and perhaps in the stable that the actual house of. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, 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 Bunch of polar bears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fireworks on 4th of July. It's like when you and the dogs and all of a sudden all the yeah. polar bears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you do that unknowingly, <laughs> and while that chaos happens, uh, uh, you see, you see, they're, they're, look at them. There's, there's something more going on here. This is a mystery, a mystery to be discovered, to be to be un, 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 uncovered. Do you, do you, are you with me? Do you, do you see that these are not just our vassals, but perhaps our kin? Well, they've been decursed, that's for sure. I'm not sure one way or the other. Hey, looking at them, I'm not sure anything that they've said is parallel or in line with our religion. They'll need to be tested. They'll need to be thoroughly tested. But I'm going back to my villa to rest. Are you well? Scroll. He's a uh, he's he's fries. He always has been, and you can tell that he's like fucking on the edge of death. <laughs> <laughs> like it, do I feel like it's a kind of disease that I might be able to help Ooh. with, or do I feel like it is a? He, he just he just seems like an old man. Okay. Like this this is an ancient, this is an ancient okay. guy, an ancient guy, and uh, he he looks at you like I've he spent more magical energy than I've spent in the last decade. I, we'll get back to my. Carriage, which I'm sure is in exactly the same place that it was before. And <laughs> well, I'm sure you won't have to walk very far away as an old ogre man. And he, he turns and the va- the two vassals that have accompanied him like actually like take his arms and start to like waddle him back uh, out and away. He seems to have been very clearly, explicitly here just to take care of business, get a brief assessment of you, and is now on his way towards the exit. And we would like to be reunited with the remaining heroes of High Mall, the greatest of all the ogre heroes. High Mall? Yes. High Mall! Of course, of course. Wait, the lost ogre continent, of course. The, Mania stays with you, and he's looking at the four of you in excitement and confusion. He seems <clears throat> taken by your story. He seems taken by the idea that he may have made such a wonderful and great discovery, that this is some fantastical new chapter in the history of Ogerton, of his people, of the world, literally the cosmos, everything that there is could pivot on the decisions that he makes right now. And 
knowing that this isn't madness for the test of the house of religion has has come true that he has been able to perform great powerful curse removing magics upon you and you are still able to breathe fire or transform or uh, to speak giant to speak in the first place I've had a brilliant idea we will take you to the five houses we will prove your worth as Zogurth, prove that you are capable in the ways of art, of military, of religion, education, that's, that's of course my house, and in commerce. We will prove these things and I think we will take those pendants off your necks. We won't have to eat you. And we will be able to move on to uh, grant you land and marriage. You'll be able to stay here as Lord, Lord, Lord and Lady. It will be a uh, magical day. Perhaps we are close, truly close, to finding all the knowledge of the world. I'm excited for the coming days, for the coming weeks, for the coming months, perhaps years we will spend together as a family and beyond. Perhaps at least till the end of winter. Yes. Seems like no time at all. What well, about? we are the reincarnation of great ogre heroes. We go where the great ogre spirits take us. We sail on those ogreific tides. As do I. Good show. We will look forward to being reunited with our remaining companion, who, who has not been tainted by humanity, unfortunately. And I, it would be great if we could have our ancient relics that we arrived with as well. Yeah, the relics that were gifted to us upon leaving the gates of Ogre Heaven. Yes. Our heavenly relics. They're very important to us. I have many letters to write, not just to the houses, but on that point exactly. I agree. If you are uncorrupted, perhaps so also are your things. We will work on that. Together. At the very least, my shell and my flask, please. And that's where we'll end tonight's session. <laughs> oh! Hey, gotta give it up.